Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to a little more Oxygen Not Included. It's of course Thursday night, and our colony here is continuing in the Cosmic Upgrade. Uh, I've kind of zoomed out a little bit so you can get a sense of what we've built so far. Because uh, I think, what are we, four episodes into this colony, something like this now? Uh, so, fairly decent sized colony. I think we have somewhere around 20 duplicates uh, in here. Decent sized farm for mealwood. Our kilocalories are in a pretty good place, and of course that's all being stored in CO2 so it doesn't go bad. I swear they've increased the storage size of these containers, because that's a lot of food to be stored only in a single container down here. Nevertheless, uh, our duplicates have been relatively happy. Nobody's died. Small miracle for that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so far so good. And now, uh, last time we built out, uh, we built out some, some power up here using the, uh, the natural gas geyser that we had in the very top left corner of our colony. And that is going to provide us with a pretty decent amount of power and also some polluted water that we can then clean up to sort of help our water supply. Uh, not that it's not in that bad of a spot right now. Uh, we have a decent amount of oxygen production. As you can see the colony is well oxygenated. Uh, we have a little bit of cleanup set up down here for our CO2. And that's on a special system that detects whether the CO2 comes up out of this opening here and then turns on our scrubber so it can get it back down to the right level. Uh, down here, we have a wonderful little uh, little farm for our mushrooms, and per someone's suggestion, we're going to put a little ladder in here so the duplicates have a way to climb up and breathe, and then maybe they won't choose to go outside in the germy air that's just out through the door over here. And this door was set up, of course, so we could get easy access to slime that's being produced by our wonderful puffs that we're storing underwater to avoid produ producing extra polluted oxygen that's all germy. And, uh, yeah, so, so far everything's been going pretty swimmingly. Now, we haven't yet in this colony gotten up to the surface, and one of the things I want to focus on today was maybe trying to start our journey upward. It's going to be a bit of a ways. It's a long way up there, um, and we're going to need some exosuits probably because it's, you know, it's somewhere up here in the inky blackness, and we have a lot of junk we're going to have to kind of climb through, but I think it should be kind of fun. But welcome everyone who's here so far in the chat. Thank you, as always, for everyone who was here early chatting. I didn't get a chance to pop in early in. Uh, exchange some messages with people this time round, but uh, I normally do. But uh, welcome everyone, and if you're watching this stream on the channel afterwards, I apologize if it desyncs. Uh, YouTube does have an issue right now with some of the, the video on demand uh, recordings that it's saving down after my live stream finishes, and that's kind of messing up the syncing a little bit. So I apologize if you run into that. Uh, I do know that YouTube's working on it, but hopefully they'll get that all sorted out. Polani with the first super chat. Five dollars for super chat. I don't want to be... I don't want a dupe name for me, just tell me, if you know, how the heck smart storage automated is supposed to be used. Hashtag gif of joy. Uh, the short answer is, I don't know. I'm really not sure what the, the benefit is of smart storage, except that you can have it set up in a way that says if that storage is full, for example, something else will stop happening. Or start happening. So you can use it as like a trigger point, So, but I, I haven't really come up with any reasonable, reasonable mechanism for that. Maybe some people who are in the chat might have some ideas about how they might want to try to use that. And uh, we'll see uh, see if somebody has some uh, cool ideas. Instead of this down here, uh, we had this set up to try to add some water to our little basin here we were using for our pitcher pump because it was starting to get kind of low. And I thought as long as I was pumping it in here, we'd use it as a cooling mechanism for our water sieve, which is only turning on periodically, mind you. Uh, but it is keeping it at a reasonable temperature so it won't overheat things. And I think in general, the temperature in the colony is not bad. It's gotten a little warm down in this area, particularly down here where we're dealing with the compost, but that's kind of to be expected. And the kitchen, of course, is warm also. Uh, the key thing here is just to try to keep it away from uh, over here where our farm is because then we don't want to stifle the growth of the plants. And right now it's about 28 degrees. Uh, so that's actually a little bit on the warm side. These things like temperatures that are between 10 and 30. So at 28, it's actually getting fairly close to stifling here. Uh, and part of the problem is that we're still running this one algae deoxidizer that produces uh, air uh, or oxygen at around 30 degrees. So that's going to kind of warm things up in general. So a few things to tackle today. Uh, I think I'm going to try and set up a mechanism for us to climb upwards. Uh, we want to go through all the nastiness and things. Um, and I think we'll probably do try to do a little airlock system up here maybe. If we dig up into this space uh, and then they can hollow out into here. Actually, how's our germ situation right here? Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind. Hold on a second. That's really germy there. You guys stop that. Stop this for just a moment. And we have our first duplicate joining us as well. Duplicate number 21. <laughs> this colony is getting really full, but it's okay because we have lots of food. We just got to be conscious of the fact that we keep producing enough air while we're dealing with all this. Please replace your super chat gift with the one from Twitter. Thank you. I have to make sure it's okay for me to use that one first. They haven't replied back to me uh, when I reached out to them. 
uh, to ask about whether it was something they created on their own. But um, if they say it's okay to use it, I'd love to swap it out because that is a super cute gif. Stay till 4 a.m. to catch you live. Oh my gosh, 4 a.m. Welcome. That's super early. Or super late, I guess. Name him Sir Imperial Mike. All right, so this duplicate will be Sir Imperial Mike. Uh, we're going to bring in a pacifist here, I guess. That's probably the best of the of the batch here. Bubbles could be Sir Imperial Mike. Welcome to the colony. Print. All right, that's duplicate number 21. Okay, so I kind of want to go upwards, but we're going to need... We're going to need another setup for our exosuits. So we have a couple down here, and they've been using them to go down into this lower area. Uh, which, actually, while I'm thinking of it, I should have them mine down here and get some wheeze warts so we can start to cool off our colony a bit. Uh, and it would help if I gave them a way to get down there, too, I guess. So we're going to start to dig into the cold biome to get some stuff to cool the colony a touch, uh, preferably around where this thing's producing oxygen. Uh, if I go way up here to make my entry into the upper areas, the trouble with this is only that I'm going to have to build, like, right into the slime. And I don't really want to do that, because it's, it's awfully germy stuff. If I go off this way, then we get into chlorine and things. Uh, which I guess could be worse. I mean, the chlorine at least would be clean. Or, alternatively, we could just use the suits that we have down here. And build a ladder all the way up. Now, again, huge ladder is not really a good thing in this game because when they're carrying materials, they're constantly dropping them, and then it becomes sort of an issue. But maybe we won't go that way. I feel like I kind of penned myself in a little bit. I built, like, right to the top of this core area in the middle. Is it worth growing uh, anything other than mealworm, or is it not worth it? Yeah, it's totally worth it. I just haven't bothered setting up a, a garden yet. So down here, we're growing some some dust caps, and they're certainly useful. So if we... Uh, I don't know if we have any harvested yet. Let's check our food. Cooking ingredients, we have pinch of pepper nuts and raw eggs. You know what? Let's make, let's make some omelets. We got some raw eggs. Go cook those up. Sleet wheat grains. There should be an option here. So fried mushroom caps... We can also make these. Uh, and those are good for food. Set those up. I don't think that... I think this thing's still set up in a way where if the first item you run out of, they just stop working and they won't cook the next one. But we'll find out in a minute. We'll see whether Faze is cooking... Yeah, so he cooked up an omelet. These guys pick everything up so quick now. There's so many of them that they're often idle. They're like, give me something to do! Give me something to do! I gotta do something now! And they just run and jump on whatever task you give them, which is really good for... Efficiency. That was a couple omelets I got through there. I want to see if he makes the mushroom caps or if it's still set up so that it just sort of blocks the production of everything. Omelets. Yeah, so he's not cooking anymore. Because the, uh, we're all done with the omelets. But if we switch it over to the mushroom caps, he should run back and cook again. Eh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully he'll make the, we should make mushroom caps now. I mean, we got the other one out of the way. Are your dust caps in normal farm tiles or hydroponic? Uh, I have them in normal farm tiles because they don't need water. Specifically, they need slime. So they need 4,000 grams per cycle of slime. Uh, it helps that it's in a farm plot. They like darkness, so you don't want light in this space. They need to be in CO2. So we have this pretty much all set up for them. We have a little layer of air in here, but it's kind of gone away now. <laughs> I guess they breathed it into CO2. Anyway, this is... Uh, this is all set up ideally for our for our, our dust caps. Um, later on, things that need like hydroponic tiles are stuff like the bristle blossoms because they need to be they need to be watered. Uh, I think that's actually currently the only plant really that you need you need the irrigation tiles for because the other ones um, the pinch of pepper nut. I don't. Th oh no, the pinch of pepper nut needs to be irrigated also. So you probably need uh, the uh, the tiles for that as well. New sponsor, welcome, Jim Lord. Thanks for the sponsorship, Jim. I appreciate the support. Enjoy the emojis and stuff. Um, all right. So where do we want to make our egress point? I, I feel like, based on the way I have all this stuff set up, this chlorine space over here is probably my best option. It's kind of a weird setup because they have to run past these generators. Um, but I think if we go in here and we just throw in... Well, normally I would do like a, like a little manual airlock, but I'm going to try and... Seal it. Do we have what do we have in here? We have hydrogen in here. Can't tell what kind of gases we got. Chlorine at the bottom. Uh, we got kind of chlorine and everything in here anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter what I do. The only thing is, they're gonna go in and out of this door a lot more. 
which they don't really have to do right now. I'm so indecisive. <laughs> Thousand grams. All right, whatever. Let's just go in here. We'll deal with the chlorine that gets in our base. That's fine. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do like a little, little stamp system here, same as usual. We'll get them to hollow this all out. On the other side of here, we'll build a floor, and this is, of course, where we're going to put um, our exosuits. And then from here we'll start we'll start to build upwards, and they'll just kind of I'll just kind of ladder it back and forth as we go up. Now I did see oh right here there is another another geyser we haven't uncovered yet. I don't know what kind that is, but it's hiding right there. We'll have to go check that out and see what the deal is there. Uh, there is also another gas geyser that someone pointed out in the comments. I can't remember who it is. I'm sorry, I'm horrible with names. Um, but there's another natural gas geyser down here at the bottom right, so we have a second source of power if we need to need to start tapping into it. I mean, for right now, this is this is really good. Uh, how's our gas separation going here? A little bit of chlorine leaking in because the hydrogen is just not very high concentration in here. It's getting pushed out of the way. Man, I can't tell. I can't tell anything in there. It's just a horrible, horrible miasma of mess. Okay, this is going to require oxygen. Same as we had in the suits at the bottom, it's also going to require power. Now on the plus side, we can tap these directly into the generators here. So we don't really have to do anything really crazy to produce the power for them. So we can go ahead and set those up. Uh, actually, it's... Stations, that's what I want. We need the stations. Alright, so exosuit dock, we'll do maybe three of them again. Or maybe we won't. We just ran out of materials. <laughs> Alright, get this thing going, please. We need some more fancy fine copper, which I don't have any of. Fantastic. What about gold? Do we have gold? 2,400 kilograms of gold. Let's get out of gold, I guess. Dude, this isn't working. Okay, I'm going to need a water lock here, actually. I hate using the water locks lately because they it does give them the debuff, and there is the option of using CO2. But for this purpose, we're going to build a water lock. Uh, it'll kind of keep all this chlorine relatively under control. There's some in here already, but... I don't want too much. How many more sponsors for the next emote? That's a really good question. Uh, let me check. Sponsors, we are at 38 sponsors. And the next custom emoji. No! What happened? Parent, no! How did he do that? <laughs> He dug his way down to the... Oh, come on. I saw... Uh, I didn't... Rarg. Our first duplicate death on cycle 87. Poor, poor sad Perrin. He is no more. Um, boy, that really stinks. And he even had the exosuit and everything, but he he must have been stuck down there while we were dealing up top. And then, uh, Horrible. Feel terrible now. All right, let's blow them. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna need the memorial space for our very first duplicate death in the colony. This is why I always say there's no guarantee of survival in my colony. It's always a bit of a crapshoot. You know what? We'll do it out here, I guess. They can pay tribute each time. Each time they walk past, uh, we'll throw some furniture out here. There's never a guarantee of survival when you join the cryptic box colony. As many, many sad duplicates have found out the hard way. Why stream on YouTube instead of Twitch? Uh, because this is where I built my channel. I, I did most of my stuff based around... Um, zero remaining. Uh, I think I... Sorry, I did, I've done most of my stuff based on... Uh, uh, building, like, recorded videos on YouTube. So I kind of built up my audience here. At one point, I was dual streaming to Twitch and YouTube. And... What I was finding was I wasn't really getting a lot of people watching on Twitch. Most of them were on YouTube anyway. And the people that were on YouTube, or sorry, the people that were on Twitch, uh, were people who had formerly been watching on YouTube. So it didn't really make a lot of sense to split my audience. So I just sort of stopped. Ah, <sighs> that's super frustrating. Sorry, now I'm all I'm all distracted. Poor, poor dead duplicates. He lived for such a short amount of time. It's very tragic. Give Perrin a sweet little flower pot too. Okay, we'll do that too. So we've got, we'll have a couple statues, a couple pictures. Uh, we'll throw a flower pot in here also. 
It's too bad you can't put names on here or like write something interesting on the on the tombstone. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with the exosuit. I've never had a duplicate die wearing the exosuit before. Do they collect that and reuse it? Do they have to like spray it out with some disinfectant inside to get the duplicate stink out? Like how does that work? I'm not entirely sure. I know. Oh no, who died? It was the last part. It was Perrin. Perrin died. He was down here mining in the cold biome to get this this wheeze ward. He dug it up and for some reason went up on top of the ice and dug out the ice below, like away from where he was standing, so he couldn't get his he couldn't get pack and he suffocated when we weren't really paying attention. Because we were up here looking at where we wanted to build our next set of uh, exosuits in order to move up into the next, you know, like up towards the uh, surface of the planet. That's really tragic. Let's make some more gold. I can take the time to answer me. No worries. That's why I'm here streaming live. It's nice to interact with people. I can sit and talk to myself all day long just doing recordings. <laughs> when I'm streaming, though, it's nice to actually be able to interact with people. Cleaning up the dead guys. I don't even know how that works. Like, I'm not sure what... Uh, how many spots just till face reveal? Um, a thousand. <laughs> I actually already have a couple videos on the channel. If you if you do a search on the channel for videos that have the name, like, channel update, uh, you'll find some there. Um, in terms of the question of how many more sponsors for another new emoji, we need two more. Two more sponsors, so that would put us at 40, and that would unlock... Another, uh, another custom emoji. Man, I'm all, all bummed now. We went so smoothly into this point, and then it didn't. Uh, let's plant a little briar seed in here. Are they gonna pick up the body? What's gonna go on here? They've got the built. Come on, grab the body. Okay, go go get the, the granite because that's way more valuable than than the body that's here. Would you just? <laughs> all right, let's set a high priority on this maybe. We've got a priority eight. They'll go fill it up. And we have another duplicate coming in. Uh, conveniently, duplicate number 21 for a second time. <laughs> oh, poor duplicate. Ugh. Should probably hurry and put the waterlock in. Yeah, I should do that too. All right. Uh, we need another duplicate for the colony. Actually, Jim Lord, thank you very much for the sponsorship. We'll make you the next duplicate. Uh, we already have people that can do care. And Diver's Lungs is awfully handy. So Jim can be Meep. Aw, oh, you got the best duplicate ever, Meep. I mean, best in the sense he's the most entertaining, but I mean, he's not necessarily the most effective. <laughs> but welcome anyway. Oh, look! Our hatch, or our puff hatched. Um, now here's an interesting thing. Is he trapped in there? Remove? Oh, he was trapped in there. That's amazing. I wish I, I, I kind of wish I could reseal it again. <laughs> I wonder if he would just live in there forever if we kept him trapped inside. I didn't realize he had to do that. That's so funny. So that's actually kind of handy. Now when they hatch, you got a little control over when you remove them. That's cool. Cute little guy. So he's gonna he's gonna breathe in the oxygen. He's gonna poop out oxalite, uh, which isn't terribly efficient. But I do have this down here set up to store oxalite. So as they as he poops it out, they'll hopefully pick it up and run it down there, and we'll. Got a little extra oxygen production towards our system. Oh, right. We have a Drecklet loose. Or Dreco, rather. Uh, okay, so the water seal. Uh, we want to set this on... Uh, let me pick it, please. Okay, honestly, there's a pump here. I swear, they built it. It's right here. I see it. There we go. <laughs> uh, we want pure water in here. Uh, we'll set this on enable auto body, auto bottling. So they'll just come up and they'll dump bottles of water here. This will fill up enough. It'll create a water seal. It'll stop the gases from going in. I think it'll be okay anyway. There's not really too much. There's not really too much that came through gas-wise. The chlorine's all settling in the lower part here, where we have all our polluted water anyway. Well, that was quick. That can't be a permanent seal. It's gonna drop back down again. There it goes. Thought so. <laughs> he was just chilling in the incubator. He was. Yeah. So when he got all finished, he just like hung out in there. That was really cool. Kind of wish I just left him in there for a bit. Made a cool decoration. Um, all right, we're gonna put our fancy. This is gonna be a, like a really disgustingly ugly place for the duplicates to go into, but that's okay because they're headed towards the surface here anyway. Nobody said it had to be pretty. It just has to be functional, ish. Checkpoints. Do we have to do power for the checkpoint? I honestly can't remember. No, we don't. And I put the checkpoint down wrong. Cancel that. 
stations. Exosuit checkpoint. Flip it so the arrow points away. So the direction they need to put the suit on when they're headed. What happened here? Ran out of gold amalgam. Fabulous. <laughs> We're so low on metals. I haven't really branched out too much out of the core area. So we don't have like... Our metal situation is really not all that pretty. Uh, there's a copper there. Oh, they left the exosuit down here. That's so funny. Can I choose to deliver it here now? Deliver exosuit. I wonder what'll happen. Will they just go and fetch it? I guess I guess that's what's, what'll happen. Weird. Okay, so that answers that question. If a duplicate dies in the exosuit, they drop the suit where they die. And then you gotta go pick it up again. Welcome, Super Nintendo. New favorite animal. <laughs> yeah, that, that puff is cute. Look at him. Ah. Poor little three-eyed dude. Oh, it's sleeping. On the ladder, no less. That's where the duplicates like to sleep sometimes. Okay, so we've got this started. Power set up over there. Uh, we need oxygen production, though. There's a little oxygen. These suits don't work very well. It's funny how that works. I think I'm going to do something like right here for our oxygen. We'll just make a tiny little room right here. Something we don't really have to worry about uh, going too crazy with. Uh, we'll dig all this out. And then in here we'll do... Actually, I should... What I should do is we'll cancel this ladder right here. We're going to dig that part. We'll put a door here. All right, at least I would put a door if I had metal. But since I don't have metal, we'll just think about how lovely a door would be if it could fit there. <laughs> Why not store some oxide in underwater containers so you can use it later when long dig tunnels? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, I don't have any. I don't have anything underwater. I need to actually turn up the flow here. This is only at 50. Let's do this to 250. Because they're drawing the water here so quick. Probably partly to dump it in the bottles up here. All right, I need metal. Where can I get some metal? We have exosuits. I mean, they could be digging it out here. What I should do is go down here towards this thing. We'll find out what's in this ruin, too. Okay, let's tell our duplicates to dig over here. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of gold here they can snag. Uh, we can get some more... Some more mushroom sprouts here, too, while we're at it. Uh, we'll throw a little floor in here. Okay, so they can dig their way down. They can climb over. And we'll see what's going on inside this little ruin. Ooh, what do we got down here? Regular purple stuff. Lots of wheeze warts. While I think of it, I should actually tell them to sweep this wheeze wart up. Let's not make parents' death in vain. We want that wheeze wart seed. Specifically because I want to plant it over here. A little flower pot next to our oxygen production. Says Cryptic Fox, subscribe to my channel. My favorite streamer is my only fan. <laughs> I must have accidentally clicked on that. <laughs> That's funny. I went actually when I flipped over to look at the uh, look at the sponsors. There's there's a whole row of buttons there I can just click on to subscribe. I think I must have clicked on one. <laughs> Seems to be a glitch in the upgrade where water just disappears for no reason at all, so that it doesn't help much whenever you want to create a water lock. Oh, well that stinks. Maybe they've like decided to implement evaporation I mean so far there's not a whole lot going on here they're just getting their feet wet which is <laughs> not helping in any stretch of the imagination let's set this for like a six get some priority on that please nice they dug out the gold uh, let's dig out these two I guess might as well it says it's an oh they haven't built a ladder yet oh no we, we trapped another duplicate Tommy Chris Tommy alright Tommy let's do this easy way Dig your way to freedom, buddy. Wait, he's still trapped. <laughs> That's not going to work. All right, Tommy. We got to rescue you because you, I don't want another dead duplicate on our hands. So we're going to do a little step system like this. Cancel this here. Forget the ladders. Set these for priority eight. Get on this business. Cancel these. Dig your way out first. Make sure you can get to oxygen. Okay, I need help. Fairly new and found my first cold steam geyser. Any tip on how to harness it to its full potential? I'm afraid to dig near it without a suit. Um, well, 
you know, you shouldn't be too afraid to dig near them because they aren't necessarily going to be super hot all the time. They do have a period of time where they're active and when they're not active, so uh, it is a good idea to try to uncover it so you can make use of it. So don't be, don't be like, super concerned about that. Uh, just plan ahead. Plan to put some insulation around it so you can block any heat that comes out because even though it's a cold steam geyser, it is still hot relative to your colony. Um, so make sure you do that. Um, the steam, of course, will cool and you'll get a pool of water there. So you want to have a pump set in there so you can draw the water out. You can use that for a variety of purposes uh, where you don't have to worry about the temperature. If you have it sitting in an open space on your base, the heat is going to be a problem. But if you're just pumping it into something like uh, oxygen production, so if you pump it into your electrolyzer, the electrolyzer doesn't care the temperature of the water that goes into it. Send it in with insulated pipe. It'll come out at like 40 degrees Celsius, regardless of whatever the temperature of the water was. So you get to neutralize some of that heat. And uh, yeah. Gives you a couple of options. Um, you can also send it to like uh, other things too, but be careful of using it for things like farming because you don't want to heat heat up areas of your base where your plants are growing and stuff. Uh, let's set this for wheeze warts. Plant that. What are we doing metal wise? Raw metal. We have a little bit of copper and a bunch of gold. Okay, so we can do. No, they actually built that already. Okay, good. So we can do our pumps and things. Ventilation, I need a gas pump in here. Got a bunch of hydrogen in this space now. Go, go, gadget, hydrogen. For oxygen, we're going to use another LG deoxidizer. We're going to need a door. That didn't work. I hit the wrong button. Go magic me. There we go. Uh, we'll need to dig this because we have to put in... Actually, I'll cancel that. I'm going to put it over one. Dig that out because we need to send some wire in here. I might as well use the heavy watt wire so we don't have to use a transformer. So we can go ahead and build heavy watt joint plate. This will give us heavy watt wire here and up to there. I'm not going to bother connecting it because the pump's not hooked up to anything. If you shoot move command to a sleeping dupe that's trapped, he will immediately wake up and start digging his way out rather than waiting until morning. Oh, that's helpful. Sort of saves the uh, the red alert type of situation too. And we just ran out of materials again. What was I telling them to make that out of? Gold amalgam. <laughs> We're using up all the gold so fast. New gold was valuable, but I, you know, to use it all for building materials. You wouldn't think it would be that bad. Uh, let's dig this and this and this and this. You guys got to dig a whole bunch of stuff. So make sure you got steps to get out. I was kind of hoping there'd be a big pocket of gold down here, but we're just finding all these little ones. The closest big one is, like, way up here. Just a little bit out of the way. I guess we could dig our way up there. We have to go over to get some stuff here anyway. And little blocks to hop across. And then we'll throw a ladder up. We can dig all this out. And while I'm at it, I'm going to create a storage container outside here, a storage locker, because this is going to be germy stuff. Uh, and we're going to set that for gold amalgam so we don't store too many germs inside. Actually, yeah, you know what? It's not that bad. The gold amalgam actually isn't that germy. Cancel. It's fine. Another duplicate. Oh, my gosh. Duplicate number 22. All right. Who wants to join the colony? Again, there is no guarantee of survival. Oh, we're running low on algae. Okay, we'll get some more of that, too. Algae alert. Fox level is critical. That's okay. We have uh, other oxygen production, so at least it's not our sole means. Uh, however, let's bring in another duplicate. This will be duplicate number 22. I just need a name. Who wants to join the colony with no guarantee of survival or general prosperity? <laughs> uh, actually, we don't have algae as our sole means of producing oxygen. It's only one of the means. So that's not bad. Pancake King, welcome to the colony. Uh, biohazardous, so immunity reactions, blah, 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 flatulent, gastrophobia, and yokel. Won't cook, won't research, but eh, whatever. You can be the uncultured person. Congratulations, Pancake King. Pancake King 78. Welcome to the colony. Duplicate number 22. All right. Algae is completely gone, so we should probably find a pocket of that somewhere. Man, we really didn't. It's kind of slim on algae in general. Right, let's uh, let's throw a ladder up here. Cause we're going to climb up here anyway. 
This will give us a nice little pocket of algae to dig out of. Uh, I'm actually going to cancel the build on this side of things because I don't want them actually building it. I just wanted to mark where the geyser is located up there. Uh, we won't worry about the suits just yet. I want them when they go up higher because I, I want them to have to constantly run back. It's actually the toilets. Oh, is this out of water? No. Crank up the flow. 500 grams per second. I don't even know what this will actually allow through here. Where are we moving? 10 kilograms of water. We got tons backed up there. Okay, we can get we can let a whole bunch through. Give me that sweet, sweet water. I was voting for you. The election was rigged. <laughs> you don't like to breathe. Pancake King doesn't make pancakes. There's something special. There's something wrong with this. Yeah, he won't cook. He's not the Pancake King because he'll make them. He's the Pancake King because he'll eat them. Oh, look at all the water here. That's a little more than I thought we would have there. But I guess with so many duplicates using these wash basins... We've got a, we're going to have a water issue soon. Hooray! Just what we needed. Uh, I guess I could just spill it out here. Let all the germs hang out. I don't really care about them. Do I want to just unplug this thing and let all the germy water flow? I mean, it's like... A thousand kilograms with like 52,000 germs. It'll just dump down here and hang out with this. But then they'll have to go into the germy water every time in order to... Uh, actually, there's some algae here. They have to go into the germy water like every time, unfortunately, in order to get this storage locker. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. Let's build a ladder at the bottom though, just in case somebody else goes down. Oh, they can jump out of there. Can you jump out? I think they can. It's funny they like hang out of the CO2 and they get all gaspy and stuff. They're like, I can't breathe, but there's like tons of oxygen in our colony. <laughs> there's definitely no lack of no lack of breathable air. But they're always going where there isn't any. Can't stop eating these Swiss cake rolls, man. Mmm, Swiss cake rolls. Are those the ones that have like it's like rolled up cake with like the jelly inside? Mmm. Yummy. Any chance you could set up a slime distillery that would give you plenty of algae? Uh we probably could. Probably could. Uh, I'm not in a huge hurry to do it, but we definitely could. Probably over in this space would even make a reasonable place to build it. We could pipe down power from above using heavy watt wire straight down a conduit, and then we wouldn't have to worry about it providing a negative decor effect inside our colony because it would be outside the colony, right? So yeah, we probably could set that up, but for now, my first priority is I'm trying to get all this stuff rigged up so we can go and start searching out the surface not because we want, not because we have to, but because we can. Uh, there's fresh water up here, and that strikes me a bit odd. I wonder if there's a geyser right there. Uh, I can't see any neutronium, but it's really weird to have fresh water out, like, way up there. I'm thinking there's got to be a geyser hiding, like, right in here somewhere. That's cool. Yeah, I was kind of trying to avoid germs in the water, but... It's not really helping any. And they stopped filling this thing. Why did they stop? Is it... This, this thing doesn't say that it's out of water in use. Yeah, they're still using water. You know what? Actually, I don't, I don't need this anymore. Let's deconstruct this because they already set up a scrubbing system. So that's completely going to waste. It's just using up our algae for, and water for no reason. Um, hmm... Should send someone to research the natural gas geyser powered things. Uh, yes. That would give us information, but I'd have to let some of the gas out too, which I'm not really thrilled about. I'm not super worried about this. Actually, uh, ooh, actually, never mind. Maybe I should be. The pressure's dropping pretty steadily here. We're not going to get as much consistent power to this as I thought I might. Even though this is only running intermittently, it's still drawing through the natural gas pretty quick. I might have to shut the, one of these down and run off a single generator for a bit. Hmm. Make slime distillers in the bleach area so the germs will be killed real fast. Uh, yeah, that's an option too. We could all even just move, like relocate some of the uh, some of the bleach stone into that kind of an area, and will help. The 
is not filling up with water very quickly. Instead of a thousand grams per second now, this tank's gonna start to drain on me. Unemployed dupes. Oh yeah, we have a couple dupes we brought in that don't have jobs. Thank you for pointing that out. So we have three of them. Sir Imperial Mike, Jim Lord, and Pancake King 78. Uh, let's get another miner going. I guess nobody's really thrilled with it, but Jim Lord likes the job. He doesn't have any skilled. So we'll put him there. Uh, we'll do... We have tons of architects right now. Not worried about that. Lots of gophers. Oh, Durkin can move up to an exosuit engineer. So we'll get Durkin up there. Same with like an Elfos King. Mechatronics engineer... We apparently still don't have anyone with a skill set to be able to do that. So maybe I'll send uh, Sir Imperial Mike to be an electrical engineer. He's got a little bit of skill. And we'll do... Pancake King can be a farmhand. Where is he? Pancake King. We have too many, too many duplicates in here now. Okay. Skylar can move up to a regular farmer. Who else is maxed out? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Oh, got a gopher here. Gabriel can move up. And that looks like it. All right, perfect. In sandbox mode, I've been trying to tweak your hydrolyzer system for like eight gas pumps. What's the ideal ratio of hydrolyzer to pump? Well, it's more like a, like a two pump to one. Well. No, it's not even that necessarily. So if you look at the the you're talking about the deoxidizer, right? No, not the deoxidizer, the uh, electrolyzer. So if we look at the electrolyzer, it produces oxygen at a rate of 888 grams per second. So pretty much three pumps and two electrolyzers gives you a, a pretty good, a pretty good balanced flow there. So for every every two electrolyzers, you want three pumps basically. The, the big thing to remember is that the gases are only going to move from one tile to the next at a certain pace. So you might actually tap it down to the point where you're losing efficiency because you're never really moving 500 grams per second of oxygen. It'll be something lower through each of the pumps. But basically like three pumps to two electrolyzers. Good rule of thumb anyway. Man, I still don't have the gold. Give me the gold. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, right. <laughs> I broke all my suits and I have nothing to fix them with. These are all made out of copper. Aw, oh, man. All our docking stations are toast. So what happened was this stopped producing oxygen. Uh, you know, because... It was out. So I think I just... I found it. <laughs> I just found a use for the uh, the automated storage compactor. So we could have had this set up to say when we don't have any more algae left. Well, on a on a some of well, some compactor, we decided to say we're going to put all of our algae in one one compactor. We'd say when this compactor's empty, turn off this pump so it doesn't move thing anything anymore. <laughs> that would have been a use there that we could have used. I also could have probably put like a gas pressure gauge in here and said we get down to a certain pressure, don't pump anymore because it looks like we pumped CO two into here and it broke. All of our fancy little suits. Uh, and I'm going to have to rebuild all those docking stations because we don't have any copper left. There's like a tiny little bit right here we can try to mine out. I can't reach it though. Good times. That's fabulous. Apparently they can't reach the ladder either. What? Oh, oh right. This has got to be disabled. So they won't even go down into the lower biomes anymore. Because our suit broke. <laughs> everything's falling apart. As soon as I'm going to go make a push for the surface, that's when everything stops working the way that it's supposed to. Oh, gosh. People, don't go down there. Please, please. Stay out of the Germans. All right. Well, they're picking up clay and stuff because, you know, that's super important. That's all germy clay. Would you stop, please? Uh... Okay. Let's turn this back on. I don't want all you people running past here. This is ridiculous. Get out of the germs. Got a whole bunch of sick duplicates. Look at it all. Ugh, it's nasty. It's not even so bad the germs that they're actually carrying. The big issue are the germs that make it airborne. We have food poisoning on our food containers. Oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> oh, gosh. When everything starts to go wrong, it really all goes wrong at the same time. <laughs> all right. Well, I have a unique problem now. Uh, because I need gold amalgam, and actually I can get some here that's not germy. Yeah. 
Uh, I need gold amalgam, but I can't really send people down to the germ so much to go get it because they, I don't want them going by the suits. So I can dig this out. Let's look at them little bits. Hopefully this doesn't this isn't too thin to hold whatever water's above it because that would stink to have that dumped down on our heads. Uh, we also have a little bit more gold amalgam right here that we can grab. Get another fancy ladder going. Maybe all this stuff. When it rains, it pours. Is it still recoverable? Oh yeah, for sure it is. We're not even close to to being like catastrophic. These are just inconveniences mostly. Um, I am having a severe lack of oxygen on this, the oxygen production on this side of the colony, so we do need to step it up over here. Uh, there is algae right here we can grab. We have algae over here we can grab. So we're going to have all these tiny little ladders everywhere, but that's fine. I don't care. This is why I wanted to switch everything away from algae earlier on. And we'd started that process by building the one system, but then I got distracted doing other things. Because, you know, that's what I do. Uh, let's dig up some more algae that you guys aren't able to reach. Fabulous. You guys are awesome. Uh, we only want one guy to get this. We'll give Kaboom permissions. Kaboom. You can go through the door. Uh, and the rest of you can't. Give me that thing. Okay, we'll disable this building. I'm going to give them the ability to do a little, little, little bit of a ladder here, and then we'll dig out this algae. This is producing air again, so that's fine. It'll start to repressurize. We'll get all the CO2 squished back down. This is scrubbing like crazy because the CO2 came up out of the opening. Our whole balance is all just out of whack now. I can't believe I, can't believe I, have, to, I have to destroy all these docking stations. That's a lot of wasted air that's just gonna, or wasted power rather, that's just gonna go. And to top it all off, we're bringing in another duplicate. <laughs> duplicate number 23. Dun dun dun. So who died? It was Perrin, unfortunately. Perrin went down into the cold biome wearing the exosuit and we didn't realize that he was down there without some oxygen and now he's sort of stuck. Hmm. I think it was Ashley that wanted to join the colony last time, and I missed it, right? So, uh, we have <laughs> Diver's Lungs, Narcoleptic, Loud Sleeper, Anemic, Bottomless Stomach, or Gastrophobia. Let's go with Gastrophobia. That's the easiest one to manage there. This will be Ashley Guerrero. Welcome to the colony. Duplicate number 23. Finally caught you live. I watch you all on, uh, all of you on YouTube. Big guy from Liverpool, England. Welcome, Andy. Thanks for showing up. You want to live in the ice biome? Oh, Jonathan, there's not a whole lot of living down there. That's the place dupes go to die. Look at this. We're actually depleting our water supply here, which I'm not thrilled with. So many duplicates now. It's just crazy. All right, we need stations. Exosuit docks. Wait a minute. Wow, we did have enough refined gold for that. That's crazy. All right, sweet. If they build those, they're already connected to... I thought they were. Hold on. Ah, no, I destroyed everything. Because, you know, when I'm going to do a job, we're going to mess it up right. This is my ventilation. I need all these connected to. Oh, look at all that CO2 in there. These are going to re-break. Ah, rat. It's all nice and oxygen in here. You know what? Let's let's avoid that from happening again. Let's put another pressure gauge in here. We'll do a little atmosphere sensor here. I don't want to have this constantly breaking on me. That that stinks. Let's deliver exosuits. Got to dig all the sand out because we buried ourselves in there. Man, at this rate, it's gonna take us forever to get to the surface. Exosuits don't use power unless filling the suits. They do. You're, you're, I mean, you're right, but um, the issue here is that they were nice and full of power, and then I had to destroy them. So all that power that was stored is just gone. Hurting the professionals in me to look. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, there's nothing perfect about my colonies. They're fun to play with, but I make no claims to actual perfection. 
wrong element, so that took a little damage. All right, those are fixed. Let's uh, enable this again. Guys, stay out of the germy biome. I mean, honestly. Enable that building. How are we doing power-wise down here? Ooh, that grid is... The grid is overconnected. What do we got going on here? This is too... You know what? There's a lot of power on this one grid, but not actually a lot being used. So let's try to save some power flow on the lower grid by building that and then disconnecting here. And they didn't build the wires all the way up. Go all the way up there. There we go. Alright. Short little length of wire. When they finish that, this can start back up again. How's our oxygen doing? Uh, it's looking better. <laughs> it's, it's not fantastic. Once we let the pressure change, unfortunately, it's going to take a little bit to boost it all back up again. But it could be worse. We have, like, the weirdest pockets of breathable air around our colony. It was all polluted down here, though. Lots of polluted air. Deep space duplicate chase, yeah. Rushing something usually spells disaster. It does often, yeah. Maybe set up a gas sensor or pump that filters out everything but oxygen for the suits. Yeah, I was trying to avoid using a filter because it does it does draw extra power. Um, so instead, what I'm going to do is I have uh, I have a sensor here. So I only want this to be active if it's above, say, a thousand grams. That should prevent uh, that should prevent us from pumping any more CO2 in here. I think well, that's around the edge of that. Maybe I'm not. Hold on. Is there a gas in here? No, we are getting little pockets of it. Rat. If this is above a thousand, there. Man, I disrupt. You know what? I disrupted the whole balance of everything here. As soon as this lost pressure. Oh, gosh. As soon as this lost pressure, it lets CO2 in. And now the pressure has, in here has to build to a point it could force the CO2 back down. It'll never be able to. Let's open this door. Try to let some of that CO2 out. Well, that's not working. <laughs> I've ruined my CO2 room. I'm so irritated. I'm going to have to use a gas filter. I really didn't want to. Because it takes extra power. And this is already drawing crazy amounts of power. This is all running fine. It's funny these suits aren't really drawing more. It says we're only we're drawing zero about we're very little power on this, but these suits aren't charged up. Why is that? What's going on here? There's no broken wire. This has got power. Man, I'm super confused. I don't know why those aren't charging now. So the trouble is, now they go over the exosuit and they can't go very far because it's not charged up. All right, as long as we have one functional suit, we'll build a little thing down there. We're trying to get to that little alien, little alien leftover relic base thingy. Use an element sensor and valve to save energy. Yeah, we could do that. So, this is terrible. Like, this thing's hardly running. It's like it's not getting any power. You know what? I must not be producing enough power up here anymore. But this thing's at max. That's at max. That's at max. What did I do? What did I do? This line is drawing virtually no power. I'm immensely confused by this. I don't know why these aren't charging. It's because the pump is off? Well, no, 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 I get it for the oxygen. Is that the oxygen level or is that the, uh, I guess that's the oxygen level. I thought that was the power level of the suit. Oh, great, we broke another one. <laughs> Hooray! We can break suits like a champ. Yeah, this isn't working at all. Let's close this back up again. 
Lock the door again, please. Let's build pressure back up in here. This is down to 1,200 now, so we should be able to create a pressure differential. Okay. That's looking better. Now that we've already damaged things. <laughs> uh, see, that's there's a lesson for you right there. Don't let things break in the first place, because it's such a pain to have to fix them after. Get no algae left again. Yeah, we keep tapping it out. I really don't want to have to keep using algae. This sucks. Um, this is how our last colony went downhill. I let I let us hang around in algae a little bit too long. And I thought we had dodged it this time. Okay, we need a priority up here. Oh, wait. You know, what, you know why they're not doing this? Because this I built this thing here and it's active. Disable that. And then they can go get the algae. <laughs> not charging? Well, time to restart the seed. <laughs> no, we're not starting the colony again. We got a chance to salvage this still. It's not really that bad off. Should probably start converting some polluted water into clean water now. It's not because of lack of drinkable water, then for an eventual second oxygen room. Yeah, I just there's not very much here though. It's only a little bit there. Um, this one we could start to sieve. And send that up to a secondary oxygen room. We're getting a decent amount. It doesn't really matter if there's airborne germs either in the oxygen space. The only thing is I don't have a cooling mechanism, so it's actually gonna need to go like down here, where all this wonderful polluted air is. Good times. It's not very cold down here. Let's start to build an oxygen room down here. I, I really feel the need to actually have something set up here because I feel like we're just, stuff's not happening right. I don't like don't like our oxygen setup at all at the moment. Uh, like so. So this will be the gas pump up top for hydrogen. No. Ugh. I can't think today. My brain is running at about half speed, which for most people is about a quarter speed. <laughs> Throw manual airlocks in here. One, two, three. Uh, and I'm totally derped that. Go me. Cancel these. I'm telling you, I can't think. My brain, she's broke. Double airflow tile. Door. Pump. Like so. That's what I wanted. Manual airlocks in here. Okay. That is the shape of the room that I want. And then electrolyzer. On the outside, we're going to need power production, of course. Um... Uh, I kind of don't want the power to heat up the space too much, though, because in the cold biome here, we can actually benefit from it being cold. But that's okay. We'll throw a little floor down here. We can put our power production down here. Hydrogen generator. Yeah, we're low on gold still. Okay, and then we're going to need batteries to store the power in, of course. Them over here, I guess. All right, this will be our secondary oxygen production room. Uh, it should come out of here fairly cold. We can pump it up through insulated piping up into this space. We'll try to swap out these, which, again, not doing so great. Uh, this needs to be set at a higher priority. Let's see if we can get that done, hopefully. What's worth more to you? The occasional power draw on a filter or the copper to constantly repair and fix the suits? It's not even copper anymore. It's gold. <laughs> Water lock is done. The door... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is done. I wasn't paying attention to that either. Let's... Um... Element filter? Oh, there we go. Okay. Disable auto bottling and deconstruct. At least we got something to work right. They finished that. Now we have this horrible slow-moving door over here because I wasn't planning to use a high-traffic area through that space. 
We build it deeper in the cold biome. Uh, we could, but I don't really need it to be that cold. Like, if it comes out of here, like, if it, if it even chills this space, it's actually not that bad. I'm trying to clean up some of the polluted oxygen that comes in here, too. It might actually give them a little bit of a little pocket of air to breathe when they're down here. Poor, poor, sad little duplicates. At least we got the ladder started. Yeah, there's lots of algae up here. Look at all this wonderfulness. I'm going to have them cross over into another platform here. Send another ladder up. And then we'll harvest all this algae too while we're at it because there's no reason not to. <sighs> They've almost finished this. We're still waiting on gold amalgam. No, oh, they're waiting for copper. Really? All right. Get rid of the copper stuff here. Cancel, cancel. Heavy watt wire. Make that out of gold. There we go. Gas pipe coming out of here. This can go down. Oh. Oh, that's a nuisance. Totally forgot to handle that stuff there. Okay, we need a gas bridge here. All right, who's suffocating? Shock, why are you just standing there suffocating me, boy? Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> there was sand in there. Somebody go dig that out. Go get air now, buddy. There you go. Should still dig that out, though. <laughs> I totally forgot this was sand. It's like a, like a weird pinky kind of sand. It's like some kind of tropical beach or something. Man, this is really getting depleted. This must be idle for a while. Door for the cold biome is blocked, is it? Where, 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 where? All right. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Totally forgot about that. There we go. So now they can finally go through instead of it just being kaboom. So that's fine. All right. Slowly making recovery. We don't have any algae for here yet, but once they get up to there, we can get some. This hydrogen is going to be a bit of an issue. You know what? Let's just let's just vent the hydrogen out until we get to the point where we're actually pumping oxygen, and then we'll complete the piping. So for now, I'm going to put just a vent here. Just pump until we have no more hydrogen. To avoid a similar situation, we're going to throw an atmos sensor in here. So we don't run into the same problem we had down below. How many down? One duplicate down so far. <laughs> Door at the bottom is restricted. Yeah, I already fixed that, so that's fine. Uh, shock saved, so that's good. Next call, you should put the exit suits on the inside of a water lock so your dupes don't get don't get the wet debuff. Yeah, I probably should. This whole setup, I hadn't really intended to do a, uh, an airlock system over here. So, if, I mean, if nothing else, I don't know. If I could get rid of the chlorine that's in here, I could still change that whole setup because the, the, the wet debuff is no good for stress. I mean, they're at like 38% stress now, which isn't really that bad, but <clears throat> it's also not something I really want. Normally, I, I tend to trend around 0% stress, so getting up around 40 is kind of an issue. Have I ever played My Summer Car? No, I haven't tried it. A lot of people have recommended it, but uh, I just haven't had the chance to try it. Oh, man, we got another duplicate coming in, too. Duplicate number 24. Uh, hold on, let me check and see how we're doing bed-wise. We have two beds left. So we're going to go to 25 duplicates, and that's where we're going to stop for now. So this is duplicate number 24. Mouth breather, anemic mouth breather. Well, I don't really want the mouth breather so much, but the anemic stinks. So mouth breather it is. <laughs> Who wants to be a duplicate in this colony? Again, no guarantees of survival. My calorie count started to decline, too. It was about 178,000. Now it's at 158. So we do need to produce more food eventually also. Da, da, who wants to join? Me. All right. Well, this will be Cardminator full. Cardminator full. All right. 
Cardminator full. Welcome to the colony. Print. Kind of sound like Lupo. Uh, okay, Mitchell. If you say so. I don't really watch Lupo, so I'm not really sure what he sounds like, but I'll take your word for it. I get that a lot, actually, with a variety of different people. <clears throat> oh, there's chlorine in there. They're so close. If they just got, like, a little bit higher up, they'd get to all that wonderful algae. And then things would be right as rain again. And actually, we don't even need the ladder up this high anymore. Let's go like this. Just start digging the algae right away. Give me that sweet, sweet algae loving. Eeny, meeny, miny, homo. Hey, Fox, study the geyser. Well, we have to get in there to do it. I haven't been in really in a rush to do that. Make the suits. Yeah, we need the suits, but we also don't have an oxygen flow set up here just yet. Now, they are hooked up to the power, but no oxygen just yet. Because this is not yet running. Max gas pressure. Oh, wait, it's all full of air. Wait, what's going on here? What happened? How did that happen? All right, sweet. It did exactly what I needed it to, and I didn't even tell it. <laughs> Let's deconstruct this. Uh, we'll get the. Oh, it did pump a little oxygen in here. Okay, so that's fine. They have a little pocket they can breathe in. They can like run down and breathe right there. They don't have to go all the way out. That's pretty sweet. We'll get these filled up with air though, and then we can actually have them using the exosuits. They can work much, much more consistently. Uh, gas pipe in here. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Okay, we have algae again. What are we at? 671, or 637 kilograms. So we don't exactly have a lot of algae, but we have a little bit. Uh, it doesn't help that I had a double algae system running down here because we have so many duplicates. Oh, look at that air quality. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, uh, that was bad. We let that get really low, actually. So we have this, this is a steady supply coming in. It's not going anywhere soon. But having these turn off, we have so many duplicates breathing the air now that they just they just churn through the oxygen really quick. Uh, and that's not really a good situation, so we do really need them to build this down here. They built the doors before they built anything else. That's brilliant. What, what was that about? <laughs> we have, like, the slowest moving people wearing the suits. Okay, um, we had some people master their job here. We should probably move them out. Handy but any, you can be a senior architect. We have who else? I thought there was more than one notification, but maybe it was an old one. Oh, seasoned miner. All right, so Jakarum is maxed out too. So we should probably send Jakarum down to Gopher. How's that for a demotion? Jakarum. Did I pass it? I mean, I must have. I didn't see. There it is. Jakarum. All right, you go work on your Gopher skills. We want to get more people trained up in the exosuit engineer position so they can use that. Oh, good lord. Is that a blow a thousand? Yeah, it's fine, actually. So, while it was low, it pumped out the hydrogen, so cleared out the space and gave me exactly what I needed. And now we have this all connected, so we can change this now to so if it's above a thousand. That will produce oxygen flow for us. That will fill up our suits. Obviously, once they're full, then it'll stop, stop pumping, save the power, save the algae. Maybe deactivate the suits for a couple before they... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm okay with them going a little bit more slowly down here. See, some of them are moving quickly. Wow. Are you kidding me? Who is that? Elf Wolf King. That is one spry devil right there. Look at him go. That's got to be Durgan. Durgan. Elf Wolf King and Durgan. They're like sprinters. That is ridiculous. Cool. No jobs, lol. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Huh, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, we can make them both gophers now. Uh, Ashley, where's Ashley? And Carbonator full. All right, they can both be gophers. Build up those skills. Exosuit and Docs need suits. Yeah, I know they do. They're not, um, they're not set up just yet. Um, so this here... We'll need three, but I am actually missing reed fiber. No, I have reed fiber. What's going on? What am I missing? 
copper ore. Are you kidding? Can they only be made with copper ore? Uh, that is a problem. There's only one metal that can be used to make exosuits. It's got to be copper, and we're all out of copper. Which means I need to salvage something that's made out of copper currently. What's this made out of? Copper. Deconstruct. <laughs> we'll deconstruct these two. Let's get all the copper back we can get, because I need it for suits. That's crazy. I can't believe it ha it's like specific specific it has to be only copper it's made out of. Because once you run out of it in the core part of your colony, unless you find a volcano, you're not getting any more copper. That's it. End of story. You're the ex existing engineers, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better to fill up suits? Uh, yeah, well, it fills up the docking station when you put the suit there. The suit's full. Well, actually, it's not even doing that. It's not drawing power either. Did I not connect the power? No, it's connected. I guess it's just not charging because there's no suits there. Nope, that's what happened. Oh my god. I can't win. <laughs> I'm out of power. Uh, I just destroyed these treadmills, too. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything's gonna. We're all gonna crash and burn. I ran out of gas power. So, this is. Everything is running on batteries right now. Once those batteries are toast, everything stops going. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's try to resolve some of that. At least if they have these treadmills, they can produce a little bit of air. So that's something. Uh, this is self-regulating, so it'll keep going on its own. I don't have to worry about that one. It's okay. We'll still have an oxygen supply. <laughs> Just these other ones aren't going to run. <sighs> some, uh, no, we, we gave jobs to the people that didn't have them, so we, we took care of that. Um... <laughs> Man, when stuff starts to go wrong, it uh, it just doesn't pull any punches. All right, let's just do this the easy way. This is going to create a crazy amount of CO2. That's all going to filter through my colony. Oh, boy. Man, I had so much planned I wanted to do tonight. I'm going to spend the whole time just play, trying to play Survivor. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what's going to happen right here. All right, let's throw a floor in here for now. Let's not make it out of metal. Um, and in here, we're going to put a coal generator. This is a horrible, horrible setup. However, this is probably the shortest mechanism I can use to connect this to our existing power supply. And replace the, the power we're not getting from our wonderful gas generators because this is all out of gas. We tapped it out. It's toast. Toast, toast, toast. Uh, yeah, the doors are made of copper too. Yeah, there's probably more we could do there. Make a one suit at least. Man, I had so many exploration plans and now we're just playing recovery. When things go wrong, the whole place is filled with molten copper. That's right. <laughs> That's what happens, Jinx. The whole place just goes up in molten copper. You know what? I need two of these. I, one of them's not even going to cut it. And this isn't even the, the permanent power setup I want. This is terrible. It's terrible. Where is this thing? All right, um, and we use a little bit. Of, let's try to save at least a little bit here. All right, we'll set those up so when the when the smart battery's full, it will turn those off. Also, try to use a similar power mechanism. <laughs> so bad. All oh, right, actually, this is gonna work all right. These uh, what, what temperatures is polluted water at? The polluted water is gonna drip down here, and ideally, where's the water? Show me the water. 29 degrees. So uh, the, the polluted water is actually going to drip down on here. And it will actually cool off 
our coal power generators. <laughs> not, that it's, not that it necessarily needs it, but kill the oxygen buff. We probably should, actually. I really like this guy, but he is actually reducing our oxygen right now for no good reason. So, sorry everyone who loves our wonderful little puff, but he's going to be turned into meat. Aw, he went like flat. I feel a little bad. I feel really bad about killing that guy. He was so cute. <laughs> I feel like lately, every time my colony gets to a certain point, I end up with like this weird little crises thing that just shouldn't happen because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't set up stuff in ahead of time. Fox needs to get the surface just to get some solar power. Yeah, that would be helpful too, actually. I mean, alternatively, you could dig a you could dig a tunnel to the surface and put your solar power down below, and then during certain parts of the day, the light will shine all the way down. We have algae at least. That's something. Uh, let's deliver exosuits. Hopefully it won't take them away from the other stations. No, it shouldn't, right? I've never done that before. Aha! <laughs> it's uh, no power to charge it. Alright. They're alive. Everything's okay. What's that mean that's always going around with the little dog sitting in the burning room? This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Will Cryptic Colony survive the night? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. You can make a knock eight, so the hydrogen generator is not running. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, there is an excess amount of power here that we could be tapping out of the hydrogen generator system. The reason I don't do that is only because I never want to have a situation where I goof and interrupt the oxygen flow coming out of my oxygen room. As long as this is set up and running, and as long as it's getting an incoming flow... Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, this pump is down here. It doesn't isn't reliant on that same power supply. So theoretically, this pump wasn't running for a bit. If it had been out of commission for too long and it used up the water supply, we might have stopped producing oxygen. <laughs> that would have been very bad. Oh yeah, let's uh, disable these. Disable that. Are these made out of copper? Or did I make them out of gold amalgam? Those are gold amalgam. That one's copper. All right, this one needs to be destroyed. Fix the one, break the other. Make block. I actually... Ugh, what a mess. What a mess. This is not going to be usable for any power anytime in the near future. <clears throat> Colony's got a crash in molten copper. Well, it was always a good time for molten copper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who subbed to Mr. Beast? Uh, I don't know. I mean, super chat for an extra hour of oxygen unincluded tonight. Two dollars super chat. Thanks for the super chat, Polani. Hashtag gif of. <laughs> I'm crying here. Is it crying sad or crying funny, Robert? I'm in a concern now. I don't want to make people cry. There's only one duplicate death so far. Don't cry too hard. All right. We got room for our final duplicate. I'm not going to go past 25 for right now, because, frankly, things are already going a little off the rails. Too many duplicates running around. Uh, we have a Noodle Arms. We have an Arcoleptic. We have an Anemic. Well, that's a real uh, that's a real great setup. Diamond Zongs are kind of handy, though, so we're going to take Lyra. Who wants to join the colony? And they can play as Lyra, who may or may not survive. <laughs> we'll shall see. We might need a whole lot more of those gravestones. Want to get rid of the rock grain later and finish the ceiling above the apartments will help with a little bit of stress. Uh, yeah, I mean, the stress isn't that bad in the ribs. I'll show you the overlay in a minute. LED, you can be a dupe. Welcome to the colony, Nelly. There we go. And print. All right. So if we look at our decor layout, um, these aren't even bedrooms. That's actually just a hospital. Shabam. When they go to bed, they're they're feeling pretty good about things. I mean, it's not stress really isn't a big problem, and uh, they're getting a little bit of flow through here with the, from the grate, unfortunately. But for the most part, they de-stress when they go to bed at night. Um, and it's really only J Box One and Elf Wolf King that are high on stress at the moment, which makes you think I should, probably should put a relaxation room in. We didn't build one yet. We could put a relaxation room like right here if we destroy this picture. I'll destroy them both, actually. Deconstruct both of those. 
<laughs> if I had more metal. Alright, this will be a relaxation room. Uh, we'll give them some artwork, because you can't relax without artwork. Connect this to the power grid. Alright, now our duplicates have a place to go de-stress where they need it. It's kind of a, that's a real ghetto relaxation room. We're going to need to build a better one later. When we make a little bit more space in the colony. This up here is just like a hot mess. Like, this, this whole layout just got, like, super nasty looking. Ooh, what is this? How did it break the wire? What's broken here? How did that wire bridge break? Oh! Well, that would do it. <laughs> I have no idea why I did that. Alright, that's fine, actually. We don't need the pump at the moment, but... Later on, when we have to restart that thing, it probably would be handy to fix that. Let's set this uh, enabled. We finally have functional oxygen suits up here, so they can take the exit suits out. We have 473 kilograms of algae, which again is not a whole lot. But it's something. Something beats nothing. We build a couple ladders here just so we can get the rest of the algae out of here. And then... Onward and upward into the great unknown. Build another little tunnel over here. And then a whole pile of ladder. It's going to take a bit to get up there. The surface is actually pretty far up. Overloaded. Yeah, it was overloaded, but I couldn't understand why. I didn't realize I had actually connected regular wiring to the heavy wall wire, which was just silly on my part. I don't know why I did that. I have no recollection of doing so, but clearly I did it. <laughs> Man, that's a lot of duplicates breathing all the air in here. It's a lot of duplicates washing their hands, too. I'm going to have to get rid of the water that's in here. What can I do with this water? I mean, I can sieve it, but i got to find a place to pump it. You know what? Let's build a sieve like right out here. It, I, I see no reason to not use the space that's outside, since we're already out here anyway. Uh, if we go to refinement, we can build a water sieve outside. I'm going to need a liquid pump inside here, which, again, is not going to be great for our power system because we've kind of got a lot on the go right now. But um, somebody's going to get super germy, but they can take a shower or something. We're going to pump it out of here. Into here. This is going to have to come out of here. We'll send it down through our fancy farm. Yeah, this is going to be, a, this is going to be such an ugly setup. <laughs> Uh, I need to get it over to where our water storage is. Actually, you know what? Oh, man. Stop the derpiness. Make the derpiness stop. I can go there. We need to... We'll just actually just bridge this up and over. And we'll connect it, like, right here. I can't reach that. <laughs> you go, dupes. I don't know if I can send two pipes into the same water outlet. We'll see what happens here. New sponsor! Welcome Crazy to Rider 89 Thanks so much for the sponsorship. I appreciate the support of the channel. As always, much, much appreciated. Surface is about 320-something degrees. Uh, well, the surface alternates. It goes like hot and cold, I think, depending on whether the sun's shining on it. So if they're actually outside on the surface, they get a, they can get a sunburn and stuff, too, if they're out there for too long. <laughs> Just kind of a neat... That makes sponsor number 39, I think, actually. Pretty cool. Thank you for the support. Um, all right, this side of the grid, I did disconnect, so that's fine. Uh, we're gonna run wire. Ugh, oh my gosh, I can't even go in a straight line anymore. I think I was drinking or something. It's crazy. Okay, perfect. And now this is actually gonna produce like polluted dirt too, which is, you know, fine out there. All the germs out here died because we converted all this to oxygen. Look at that. We have more breathable air in, uh, outside our colony in some places than we have inside it. <laughs> Food's going down. It is. We're at 130,000, 148,000. We actually need to build uh, a, a much more significant farm system now. 
what I'd like to do is get um, get a bristleberry farm going because we haven't made any bristleberries at all. Um, now they require water, unfortunately. So again, similar problem. Please open new geysers. Could be useful. Uh, hashtag joy gift. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Durgan. Yeah, so there's one geyser down here that's gas. That would be handy. Since this one, we tapped it out completely. What a hot mess that is. Uh, actually, now that this is largely tapped out, we should go in and in investigate this. We have the opportunity, while it's not producing anything, to go and study. Um, so I feel like we probably should. Let's cancel that. Give them a little tile to hop across here. Okay, so we can we can get that done. They're doing all right with the algae. We have, ooh, not very much. Oh my gosh, I have, I'm burning too much algae. I have too much going on with the algae. Too much algae consumption. I need to stop with the stuff in the middle of the colony. How's this going down here? Well, they started it. Let's set this at a higher priority. I want them to get this done sooner rather than later if possible. Uh, so we can actually get away from some of the algae consumption. Because it's, it's okay using the algae just for the suits, but I really don't want to have to use it for the main core of the colony anymore. Not if we can avoid it. Uh, let's get ventilation going too while they're at it. Because we're going to need it anyway. Uh, regular coolant, regular pipe for ventilation could down here. What the? What the? All right, whatever. That's fine. Good lord. Uh, this one here, we want to have regular piping initially because I want it to be cold, and then we're going to switch it over to insulated to run it into the into the actual colony itself. I set that up the ladder. And we're going to pump it out, like, right here where this thing's running. There. We'll see how all that goes, anyway. It's going to take them a little while to build this, unfortunately, because they're kind of slacking right now. This is going to get connected. This is going to connected to here. Uh, this all needs to be run up to run into these. And we need a supply of water down here, too. Which is not ideal. <laughs> I should have been using the scrubbed water down there. <laughs> Every time we get close to see a solid layer of deep red on the temp overlay. Like deep red? Like molten? Wait, I'm confused. I must have missed something. Surface material is crazy hot. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Build a box around natural gas geysers so it will build pressure faster for the generators. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not pumping out anything out at all right now. That's the trouble. It's dormant. That's why it's it, we burned out all the gas. It went to sleep. Until it wakes up again, it doesn't matter if we have a box around it. It's just not going to do anything. Our natural gas generators are doing a whole lot of SFA right now. <laughs> Man, I want to go to the surface. <laughs> we're having, we're stuck on all the maintenance tasks. We can't even get to the surface anymore. Just have to build this nine for fast work. Build them, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't, know. I, I don't want them to neglect like normal maintenance activities because when it gets to the point where they you have them doing activities at a level nine, they stop doing other stuff that's kind of important, and that becomes an issue. This water level is so high right now. Uh, I need wire in here, actually. I totally forgot about this. There we go. Alright, so that will pump out to there. The sieve will send it down here. It's going to be a little bit on the warm side, probably, when the water comes in here, which isn't great. I probably should actually pump the water all the way down to here instead, because we're going to need it. Maybe we should look at doing that. Where's my insulated pipe? Oh, that's another thing. I didn't use insulated pipe. It's going to warm things up a little bit. No, 
down there. Ugh. This is a grisly setup at this point. <laughs> Cryptic Fox missed something? Never. Oh, no, I never forget things. Get plastic for a high-pressure vent. Uh, I don't really need high-pressure vent inside the colony. I actually want it to be self-regulating pressure-wise. So when it gets to that, that high-pressure point, I want it to stop producing air. I'm actually fine with that. I actually don't need them to build this here. Because I don't even need them to do that anymore. New sponsor, Spiffy Pictures. Thanks for the sponsorship, Spiffy. Appreciate the support. And that gets us to 40, which actually unlocks another emoji. I'm pretty sure. Uh, hold on. I should rebel check that. Before I speak out of turn, I think that puts it as four, it puts us at 40 sponsors and a new emoji. Custom emojis. Go to the tab. Yeah, we can do another custom emoji. Sweet. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the support. Okay, where is our water overlay? I actually want to... Now that I've done all this nastiness... Now that I've changed my mind, because it's really easy to be indecisive in this game. I gotta get rid of this piping here. We're gonna pump all the nasty water out of this through the sieve all the way down here to create air out of it. It's gonna be germy, but it doesn't matter because the germs air the airborne food poisoning germs, they don't they don't hurt anything. So we're we're gonna be fine with that. That air we're gonna pump back up into the colony, hopefully at a good temperature, uh, because we're out of algae again. Out of algae again. Tell me there's another pocket of algae up here. Nope. Nope, it's all swamp biome. There is so much more swamp now and so much less of this purple biome. It's actually shortened the amount of... Uh, and they dug through part of this and then didn't finish it. That's great. Unreachable dig. What? Why is that unreachable? There we go. Oh, whatever. It seems like they've lowered the amount of algae that's available in the game because they, they actually reduced the number of purple biomes. And they have those huge pockets of algae hanging out of them. And look at the... Was it chlorine on my base? I got chlorine on my base. Probably from them going in and out of this door too much. Yeah, well, it won't hurt anything. Well, actually, it could hurt something. If it goes down here and hangs out in our farm, it will actually mess with our plant growth. That would really stink. Forty sponsors. Now one more hour for stream. So you want to stream until midnight Eastern time tonight? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> if I'm really frustrated, I may not. But but we'll we'll plan to go for another hour. Hey Cryptic, if I have a couple of steam geysers that are producing very hot water, should I create a storage place just for the hot water? Could I bring it into my base, or is there a better method? Yeah, you're better to store it outside your base. This door, uh, this um gate, I'm gonna turn off. Reject all. Uh, and let's disable this for now. Save a building. Yeah, you're better to store the hot water outside your colony and then use it for the things where the temperature doesn't really matter too much. So, for example, if you have hot water and you send it to an electrolyzer, the electrolyzer is going to produce oxygen at 40 degrees Celsius regardless of the temperature of the water you use. So there's no point to cool it. Just send it there hot in insulated piping so you don't spread too much heat around. And you can use it directly. Um, I th you might be able to do something similar with the farms also. I haven't checked to see whether using insulated piping is enough to keep the, f the farm tiles from, from taking on the temperature of the water you put in it. But um, there's an option there as well. Making food. All those things, they don't really care about the temperature. Cryptic Box, $10 Super Chat. Hey, Cryptic, the last couple of months have been really stressful for me, but whenever I watch you play, I can relax and forget about things for a while. Thanks for all you do, and keep it up. Well, thanks, Cryptic Box. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. Love the support, and I'm glad uh, you get some entertainment that helps with a little bit de-stressing. Uh, at the expense of a small amount of stress on the part of our duplicates. <laughs> Let's make this even higher priority now. Right, let's, anything we can do to get all this wonderfulness done down here. This is what we want them focused on. Man, they got they got a lot of it done already, actually. The, the plumbing is down to here. What happened there? Did he have to go pee or something? He did. <laughs> they got all the way down there, put the suit on. Didn't even get out through the door. Had to run back and pee. It's like when you go out with the kids, right? Like when you plan to take them on a trip somewhere and you know you're going to be in the car for like two hours, but they don't go to the bathroom anyway. Oh no, I don't have to go, Daddy. So you load them in the car. You're just about to pull out of the driveway and they got to get out to go pee. <laughs> Same thing, only uh, the exosuit variety. Ugh. 
I don't like feeling oxygen pressured. I'm so used to having a system set up where I didn't have to pay attention to it. And now I gotta pay more attention because I, I have been swapping later and later out of the algae. Part of that is I was trying to like race through to get some stuff done for the colony for the stream because I didn't want to keep doing the same stuff over and over again. But I'm thinking I really should just pay attention and get all the oxygen supply I needed done. Uh, it doesn't help that we have like 25 duplicates breathing the air too, but and washing their hands. Look at this. This is crazy. Or when you put them in a one-piece snowsuit. Oh yeah. Or forget even the one piece. When you put them in the one that's got like the snow pants with the jacket on top and the scarf and the gloves and the hat, and then you gotta take all that off because you gotta get all the way down to like below the snow pants again. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> so duplicates are bathroom irresponsible. Ooh, the temperature of the air coming out here is slightly higher now too. The water has come up in temperature a little bit. It's at like 24 degrees now. So for the longest time, this was actually making a wonderful cooling mechanism to get the air to come out here right at the right temperature. But now it's got a little bit on the warm side. Come on. Man, weird lag. Touch on the warm side. It's not bad. It's still in that nice temperate zone, but it is a little on the warmer side. Show me some wonderful discoveries up here. You know what concerns me about this? There's a little spot there that's really hot. I'm thinking there's a volcano hiding under here. And that, that, could, that could pose a few problems for a colony, but let's try to dig some of it out. We'll see if we can tell what it is. Hopefully without revealing too much. We can kind of go in there and check that out. Ooh, let's get scientists analyzing this. So they can run and check that out with their little bio suits. What's the hidden geyser? Do we know yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna. I have a feeling it's gonna be something volcanic. Maybe that's just. <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe that's just like a funny little, funny little glitch there that is showing something really hot. But I have a feeling it's gonna be something just scorching, uh, which is really gonna stink. Not thrilled about that at all. Surrounded with an insulated tile box first. Well, if we dig into like just part of it, we can see what it is, and then it's not necessarily gonna be active. So therefore, it won't necessarily be hot. But we'll see. It's also really far removed from our colony, so by exposing just part of it, we'll be able to tell what kind of geyser it is, but it won't activate it, and it won't have a way to let, let stuff out. So we'll find out soon enough. Volcanoes are usually lower. Well, that's true, yeah. So actually, if that's the top of it, it's like the top rounded part of one of these, so maybe it's like another natural gas geyser. I kind of hope not, because I already have two. I would like to find a different kind. So we got a cool steam vent. Oh, that's amazing. And really inconveniently placed. Um, okay, we are going to use that for sure. Cool steam vent equals water. So we can cap this off on this side. I'm gonna dig that out. We're going to cap it off. Uh, I don't think I can study it until we actually expose it, but I'm going to cap it off. We'll let the steam build up and let the water build over here. That's a good discovery. Very, very helpful. If it erupts, it's taking your exit suit station. No, it's not a molten thing. It's fine. And it won't erupt. It can't erupt when it's buried this way. So we can see what it is. It's dormant also. Uh, steam. 1,999.6 grams per second at 110 degrees Celsius. Erupts 100 seconds every 191 seconds. That's not bad. Lee again. $3 super chat. Hey, Cryptic. Love your vids. Anyway, you can play Ark. Hey, Lee, again, thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate the support. Uh, I haven't played Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, I kind of moved away from it because I was playing other games, and Ark Survival Evolved is, is hugely time-consuming. There's a lot of time you have to spend, like, gathering resources and stuff to do all your building, and then, because I was kind of playing, I was basically playing by myself, a little bit with Kazi. Uh, if we were playing on, like, a public server, it was always a problem with, like, other people around. If we left for too long, they would kill our stuff off or steal things. So I kind of drifted away from it. Uh, just because it takes so much time. Uh, I, I, there may be at some point in the future where I might go back and revisit it. But I, I need to make sure that I have time to do it. Because I have so many games underway right now that I'm having trouble keeping up with. And I don't really want to commit to doing more arc. Uh-oh. Growth altar for pressure. So 
So the air pressure up here got low enough now that the CO2 is expanded enough that I don't have enough pressure for my farm. This is not looking pretty. I mean, they're not going to suffocate because they have an inflow of oxygen here. But things are going to get really, really dirty in our colony for a while. <laughs> Until we get a lot underway. And actually, there, this one incoming flow of oxygen is not going to be enough for everyone to breathe. Um, there are still places they can go to breathe. This is all clean, breathable oxygen. So they can go down here, except they'll be in an exosuit, so they can't breathe it. That's why it's staying clean. Huh, how about that? <laughs> this really needs to get done down here. <laughs> please, oh please. Finish with all this junk. I need that pretty bad right now. Hey, two water geysers. Well, we only have one water geyser, I think. I mean, unless there's a second one hiding somewhere. We have this one, our cool steam vent. Uh, I don't see any other geysers in sight. Oh, wait. Another one. Oh, I didn't even spot that one. Okay, but this is the one I thought might be up here because I saw the water. That's really inconveniently placed. But if we can get to that, that'll be very useful also. So water shouldn't be a primary concern for us in the long term. So that's great. Amazing. Uh, you need three electrolyzers for 25-ish dupes. Yeah, so right now I only have one running. Plus I had two of our algae deoxidizers. Um, this will be number two. And then if I can do a third one up here in this cold biome. I wish this was putting up more water. What's this producing at? 6.4 kilograms per second at 110 degrees Celsius. Erupts 222 seconds every 573. 6.4 kilograms per second versus this one that only puts out roughly 2 two kilograms per second. That's crazy. Now that this is exposed, it should start to erupt once it gets past the dormant period. I mean, who knows how long that's going to be. Just try making a shine bug ranch so that you have quick eggs in case your farms die horribly. Yeah, we actually... I, I'm hoping I can actually salvage this area over here to make a ranch. And I'd like to have a couple different things going. Um, shine bugs, we don't really have any of right now. So I don't know where I'm going to get the eggs from to get started. But um, Hatches might be a, a viable option. Puffs certainly could be an option. We have... Well, we have like one of them. They're not even really getting fed in here too much. This little puff is not happy. Now the funny thing with the ranches, we can actually make this into a, uh, make this into a ranch here just by putting like doors and a little ranch thing, and then theoretically tame that guy. But it's not my priority right now. So over here we'll do puffs if I can get more of them in there anyway. Uh, over here I want to do like hatches and stuff. We're a little ways off being able to do that though. Actually, let's make some. Right, you know what? If we set this up for pufflet prince eggs, no. Pufflet eggs? There's an egg on the ground there. That's what it is. Let's do that. Hatch eggs. I know there's a hatch egg, but we can't reach it. So that's kind of out of the question. I guess that's it. So we'll do a Dreco farm, but we'll do a hatch farm over here eventually. I want to get around to it. Should just disable the exosuits at the bottom, then they can go ahead and work faster. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We'll disable that. They're unfortunately getting a little germy down there, but that's... I think in the end, we're probably better off to just let them work quickly. And get a whole bunch of them. Wow, look at the whole army going now. Get the, get the whole army working down there instead of letting them use the suits. Uh, again, i got to be cautious, cautious of the germs, but I think... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of airborne germs. Ugh. Not happy about that. All right, they're going to get a little germy, but... Worst case scenario, we have a hospital. Oh, oh, we got a problem here too. Oh, that's pressure. That's all pressure related. Dun dun dun. So we may not last an extra hour tonight. <laughs> we'll see how the whole uh, breathing thing goes. Yeah, we have all the idle dupes working. You guys are just on like a thirty to forty-five second delay. So I actually I did that after the first comment. Um, so we have them all working down there. Um, jobs. We have people that have mastered those. Let's put Tommy Chris up with another one. Jim Lord can move up here. Uh, Nelly Knee can be a miner also. Um, Sarah Tuna can move up to the senior architect position. Spookus can go up to Exosuit Engineer. Aaron. Is it Aaron Jeff? Aaron Goff? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, they can go up there. Dukarum. Man, look at all this 
fancy promotion stuff they got going on. Jakarum, Ashley, and Cardman full. Carbonator full. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can't talk all of a sudden. Uh, and then Lash Ashley is the last one in here. Uh, Otak is ready to move up to Mechatronics Engineer. Ooh, Spookus can go here. Sweet. Okay. Uh, Otek can go to Electrical Engineer. Groundskeeper can go up to Plumber. So many duplicates. And that's it for the moment. We're going to have a, a few more people that are going to hit their 100% very soon, though. Your vent seems to be keeping some of the plants going. What if you move the vent up to the farm? Um, uh, yeah, I could move it up next to it, maybe. Ooh. Forgot about that pipe there. We also need down here a treadmill. Give me a manual generator. Ooh, we got some, uh, some wolfer bite. That's cool. They're getting the work done. This will be ready soon. Very, very soon. The Atticus, $2 super chat. Uh, you can do it. Also, new sub and first super. Thanks, Atticus. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you for the support and welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. There's algae right there we can grab. <laughs> We're getting all the big algaes right now. Algae right here, too. And algae over here. And algae right there. Little wee bits of algae. Free algae. Uh oh, suffocating. I'm suffocating. What? What is even in the way? Sand. Where did that drop from? That's weird. All right, Sarah, dig your way up, please. There we go. Thank you. That was ridiculous. Oh, this is sand in here. Man, all the different colors of sand throw me off sometimes. Uh, nice. They finished examining this. Okay, so this... Next activity is not for another 26.4 cycles. When it starts active again, it's going to be active for another 82.5 cycles. So when this gets going again, that will help. I feel good about that. We have suffocating again. Oh, it's still Sarah. Sarah's got a long rider one, and she's wearing the suit. Run, Sarah, run. You've got a long way to go. Ditch the suit. Get to the air. There we go. <laughs> Starvation. What the? Oh, it's Sarah also. Job's mastered. We'll go deal with that in a second. How are they doing down here? This is almost done. Almost done. They're so nearly finished. Uh, we're pumping through water that we're cleaning out of here now, finally. So this can start emptying. This is going to get really hot out here. That's okay. It's outside the colony, so I don't care. Don't care. See... We've set things at higher priority, and they've actually stopped doing some of the maintenance activities. Like, the dirt that's sitting here that's at 70 degrees is just hanging around, adding temperature to things, when it really should be carried over and dropped in here. But oxygen is a little bit more important right now, and they made a mess. Because why wouldn't they? Come mop this up, please. Why wouldn't ya? Actually, what do we have sleep wheat wise? Maybe we'd be cooking sleep wheat. Frost buns! Uh, never mind. We don't have nearly enough. <laughs> Alright, forget that then. Sensor needed for new electrolyzer. Uh, where? Oh, you're right. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, Atmos sensor needs to go in here. Throw this over here. Hopefully we have enough refined metal for that. Should be fine. Almost done, folks. It's almost ready. Hold on. Some priority seven. Once they finish this, our fancy little room's done. That can start to produce some oxygen for us, which might help stabilize things a little bit, because again, sort of infinite power supply right here. 
Two dollar super chat. Great Panami stuck at work. Says hi, miss you. <laughs> well, thanks, Great Panami, <laughs> and thank you for the super chat, Balani. I appreciate that. Gonna need to take care of food after you take care of oxygen. Yeah, it's dropping fast now, actually. Very fast. Not liking that at all. Uh, we have this weird little hover thing going on here. Let's mop up this, please. Get rid of that nasty water. This system's now running. Uh, this needs to be set at anything above. Actually, no, we can go below 1,000 for now. Keep an eye on our gases for a second. Wait, 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 wait. Now above. I gotta let some hydrogen build up at the top here. We can kick this on. It's gonna, unfortunately, do a little bit of damage to this because it's gonna send some of the wrong gas, but that's okay. Ah, come on, set this above 2,000. I need a layer of hydrogen at the top here. This tile here needs to go also. Okay, now set this for anything above 750. That should clear the oxygen out and leave it just with hydrogen. Perfect, we got our separation. This is all set up fine. That's pumping air. This is getting damaged, but they're fixing it. Uh, this treadmill can be stopped now. Let's, actually, let's not deconstruct it. We'll just disable it. So that's good to go. Let's check out the temperature of our, of our air going through though. So. The gas pipe going through here is moving oxygen at 16 degrees. Now, this is going to warm up, but it's 16 there. And it's coming out up here at 19 degrees. Perfect. Nice. Okay, we have a secondary incoming flow of oxygen now. It's still not enough because we have 25 duplicates. Like, they're breathing crazy amounts of air and creating all kinds of CO2. But at least that's a second consistent flow of air we have going. And it's making use of this awful polluted water. Germ-wise... <laughs> Uh, we are producing, we're producing the air way down here. Where are we going here? A little lag. We're producing the air down here in a cold biome. I'm wondering if that's going to help chill things off. I mean, it's not, it's not really cold, but it's funny. By the time the air gets all the way up here, it doesn't seem to have germs in it anymore. Not that it matters. I mean, it's airborne, airborne food poisoning germs. They don't really hurt anything. Okay, so that's good. Um, if the pressure starts to build up again, all these plants will start to produce again, and that will help our food supply. It's building. It's starting. We're starting to reverse the trend. <laughs> oh no, Ashley, this isn't going to be a molten copper night. We're gonna we're gonna recover this. <laughs> we're not getting to the surface tonight, where the way I wanted to. But we're gonna finish getting all this basic stuff completed that we really needed to have maintained. Set up a smart battery for power transformer and send out power when you have an excess uh, excess of energy. Worst outcome to worst kill off dupes. Uh, actually, can we even set up automation on the transformers? You can. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. You, you're right. You absolutely could. So we could set up a smart battery. So that when the smart battery's full, it'll send out power through the transformer into the regular system. But we're not really lacking for power at the moment, so I'm not really in a huge rush to do that. In the meantime, they can start digging some more of this ladder up here. Ooh, actually, they, man, they already dug their way all the way up there. That's sweet. There's another ice biome. Sweet. Okay. We'll do another platform here. Uh, actually, I don't want to dig straight into this ice biome because... All the nasty water is going to come down. So we'll dig a little side tunnel. And we'll dig a side tunnel in here. And we'll see what we see. Reach the water geyser so it starts pooling. Yeah, I have to I have to have a place to put it. I don't want it all just gushing down into things. I started to dig this out so we could create a space for it in here. Kind of dig all this out basically. Unfortunately, there's a lot of, like, mixed up gases and stuff in here, which kind of stinks. But we do have a water seal down here, so it's going to stop that, at least, from spreading. Uh, we'll need a ladder, like so. I'm going to do insulated tile on this side, because things are going to be warm. We'll just dig right over here. 
insulated tile out here. Also, gotta give it space for the steam to come out. Actually, I don't even know why I'm bothering with all this over here. Get, stop with all this. Don't dig that out. Dig all this out instead. Uh, cancel these tiles, because obviously I don't want them to build this. And instead, they can dig it out. Uh, we'll let the water kind of come out of here, and we'll pool it up in the bottom. There's a morb in here, too. That guy's got to go. Attack the morb. Kill it. Kill it with fire. You'll have two days of food available. Oh, yeah. 54,000 kilocalories. Good times. That actually, this um, this pressure issue that's probably gonna be our biggest downfall. They always had places to go to breathe oxygen, but it really, really killed our food supply. We might have some starvation deaths in the very near future, which really stinks. What the heck happened with the O2? Uh, we we still had we had two of these little algae. Actually, this one can be turned off. Disable this. Um, we had two algae deoxidizers running in a, in addition to our one oxygen room. In order to maintain the oxygen level, we ran out of algae, so these didn't run for a while. That let all the pressure drop. CO2 spread up from below. Uh, we do have a second oxygen room running now down below here, so this isn't set up to run. Uh, and that should do well for us. But it backslid far enough that air pressure dropped. And this is a very big space to try to repressurize. It's one of those things where it's like an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You want molten copper all over the base? <laughs> We're not doing it. We're not doing it. These guys are going to survive somehow. Even if there's a whole bunch of duplicate deaths. They'll die and make a recovery and they'll come back again stronger than before. Or at least quasi-dead. Cancel this here. Get them to get in there and build that other stuff first. Insufficient auction generation. You don't say. Imagine that. At least nobody's starving yet, because we still have food, but it's not good. I need another oxygen room. So we have two of them going right now. I need a third one. I was kind of thinking of the third one up here and then pumping it down into this upper area of the base. Show me a pocket of algae. There's some right there. So in the short term, if we build a little ladder right here... And then prioritize all this stuff at like a six. Then we can send our duplicates all the way over to here to dig at a priority six and get more algae. Again, it's not a permanent fix, but it'll give us a little boost. Uh, we also have more algae we can si snag right here. That's free algae. Little bits of it. We get small amounts anyway. Can you lower the max calorie for the dupes to keep food from running out? You can, yeah. So they, uh, if you go into vital, no consumables. Consumables, vitals. Ooh, maybe not. Used to be able to. Hold on. You used to be able to put them on a system where they would only consume core expectations, stress. Excuse me. Fullness. Oh, I don't know if you can anymore. I, uh, You know what? I never do this. I don't know if you can. You used to be able to put them on a calorie-restricted diet, but I don't, I don't think that's possible anymore. There's no way to modify it, so I guess, uh, I guess we're stuck in a place where we can't do uh, calorie modification anymore. Isn't that fabulous? Ruh row This is what happens when everyone's made it a dupe. Yeah, with 25 duplicates is quite a lot um, relative to the amount of of like oxygen we're producing. We have our food supply really wasn't that bad off, except that everything's stifled. Like this is stifled down here, this is stifled up here. Part of the thing too is we had CO2 that was coming from our natural gas generators that we were pumping down to the lower part of the colony that we're not doing anymore. So that was actually helping to maintain CO2 supply down here, oddly enough. 
It's a whole trickle-down effect by having this thing stop running. It's going to be active again in uh, 23 cycles. That's that's a long time in dupe life. Those poor, poor duplicates. You know what? Why am I not even digging this algae out? I have a water seal there, and they're using exosuits. What do I care? <laughs> Just get it all, folks. Grab all the algaes. What about some mush bars? Uh, yeah, we could probably do... How are we doing dirt-wise? We're actually we're probably fine. We could do a, a secondary setup here and do some mush bars. Uh, let's deconstruct this. We'll go to food, set up another micro musher over here. Because we do have a couple chefs. And we'll set this for fried mush bars. Oh, we'll set this for mush bar continuous. The only problem is it is going to consume more water, so this down here is going to be a problem. How much have we got backed up here? 10 kilograms of water, so we can set this up to 2 kilograms per second. Make sure we keep a flow going to this pump. You can't modify the calorie intake, but you can decide who gets to eat what. I don't know if that helps ration at all. Uh, but not really, because we only really have like one supply of food right now. We had, uh, we had lice loaf. So that, that doesn't help so much. You used to actually be able to put them on a calorie-restricted diet, though, where you could choose duplicates that would reduce the amount of calories they're going to eat. Man, even with three of these things running now, our air is not getting ahead of things. I brought in so many duplicates so quickly. I should have slowed down. <laughs> poor, poor duplicates starved for oxygen and food. The temperatures down here have already warmed up. It's like 23 degrees Celsius. Eric's coming out of here at... 24 degrees now. It's not cold anymore. Up here, it's coming out at 24. It's not really much better. It's not much better than what it was before. I maybe should have built this colder, uh, farther down. All right, I have an idea. Let's cool the air in here a little bit more. Show me some more wheeze warts. Let's build a ladder down here. I can dig up this wheeze wart. And then we'll dig over here. I can dig up this wheeze wart. In this space here, I'm going to deconstruct this tile and this tile. And we're going to put two flower pots in there instead. And when they get those wheeze warts uncovered, we'll put two wheeze warts in there and we'll keep that little area in there a little bit cooler. See how that goes. It's going to be pumping the oxygen kind of in the wrong way, I think, but hopefully it won't disrupt things too much. Because the wheeze warts, like, they soak up water or uh, oxygen from the bottom and they pump it out through the top. Or gases, not even oxygen. It's going to be oxygen in that case because it's in an oxygen room, but... We have no eggs right now, so farming would be really handy, but we don't have one of those set up yet. The other option we have... Oh, these are starting to grow again. Yay! We're getting our CO2 pressure back. Hooray! So we can start making more... Well, it's going to take a while before we get more mushrooms that can actually fry up, but... That gives them something. We're down to th almost 35,000 kilocalories. <laughs> it's going to drop fast. Don't forget the exosuits. Yeah, I guess I can turn these back on. Uh, enable building. So we'll turn that back on. They'll start using the exosuits when they go down here again. That way, they actually, they won't get hypothermia, too. And they can breathe longer. <laughs> they're, they're not doing any real work. Hooray! All right, you go do your things. Nice and fast at it, too. Good. Uh, we did have someone else max out their skill. We have Shock here, who can now be a senior architect. Uh, who else? We have uh, Farmhand Pancake King. We're going to make him a rancher, because we're going to do some ranching next time we come back. That'll be our focus for the next stream, probably, is do ranching. Uh, Sibylline is a max out in Plumber, so we can take Sibylline and maybe... Start working her towards the exosuit engineer. So we'll put Sibylline over here. There we go. Build a section auction room that's lower and use the same O2 pipe that leads to the base. Well, here's the thing. Like, 
If we look at this this pipe that I'm pumping oxygen out, it's not even. It's 500 grams of oxygen. If you connect another pipe to it, you'll just get alternating 500 grams. It's not like it will it will compress it and make each tile into one kilogram. It'll just alternate the flow between the two. So you're not actually moving any more oxygen. You'll still end up at the same rate. This is a really consistent 500 gram per second flow. What I really need is another room that has another vent that's completely separate. So we get an additional 500. So that way we would have 1500 grams per second of oxygen flowing into the colony. Right now we don't have that. Uh, I'm going to build a quick floor in here. So we can dig this out. They're making decent progress up here. There's actually a bunch of algae up here they can snag, too. This is going to be all germy, unfortunately, but at this point... Oxygen trumps germs. <laughs> can you plant more mushrooms? Yeah, I can. Um, what I should do here is maybe do another... Second layer to our farm. How big is this room? Room size is currently 69. We can add another 30 tiles worth of space. So yeah, I can actually. Uh, let's do a little ladder over here. We'll build insulation down to here. Oh, that was derby. And then uh, food, we'll do farm tiles here. I can actually replace the roof of this with farm tiles. It's going to create a weird little oxygen flow, though. This might mess my whole thing up again. How big is this? Two... Okay, this should actually be fine. Uh, we're going to replace some of these with airflow tiles. So we can let the CO2 settle down here. Is this all CO2? It is. It's good. Destroy this right here. We'll add in another insulated wall on this side. I think when they finish this here now, it should end up in a room that's still the right size. And if not, we can add some blocks up here to just fill in the space because I don't really care about what's up top. We built a huge oxygen with four pumps and two pipelines flowing at max capacity. Nice. If you had a second O2 pump to your O2 system, you'd actually get 888 grams per second. Well, theoretically, it's producing at 888, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to move it that fast because the the gases actually have to move. They have to they have to get the chance to move into the different areas to disperse because they don't. It's not like instantaneous pressure. Boo! Shortage. My bigger concern is that it will draw down the gas pressure so much the hydrogen will build up below, and then, I don't know. I hate to mess with something that works. Come on, guys. Finish this over here so we can actually have a room again. I want to make sure this is the right size. Survey says... Ah, oh, drat. It's too big. Room size is 100 tiles. I need to get rid of, like, four tiles. All right, we go give them a couple ladders here. Because I think the maximum greenhouse is 96. Yeah, so if we fill in the four tiles, theoretically this should work. Oh, actually, they have these down here. You don't even need it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. Where are we at now? Group size 100 tiles. Ninety-nine tiles. Ninety. We're gonna need two tiles too large. <laughs> okay, let's deconstruct the ladder I built here. If we put uh, one tile here, and one tile here, that will give us ninety-six tiles. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. 
96 tiles, so that should work. Well, it will be anyway. When they get this filled, it will have 96. That'll give us another there. We can do more fungal spores here. Copy the settings all across that. Have our fancy little farm going. Uh, do we have enough pressure down here? Not really. Foo shortage. Foo shortage. They're both. We got both kitchens going, but this we need a we need a bumper crop of mule wood. Oh look, the the air pressure is building up again, even with only a couple things running. We're starting to build pressure again. We're slowly making a recovery. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to rebuild when you lose that much pressure. Because this is a big space. But we're getting there. It's moving in the right direction, at least. What happened to the Deluxe Hotel building game? Uh, we all remember. Oh, Spiffy. It uh, it all went it went all, all horribly awry. <laughs> they all died in a flood of molten copper. When things just went off the rails. Um, I let the oxygen in that. So oh, we actually dug a whole bunch out of here. Nice. Um, dig this out, please. We let the uh, the oxygen supply get really low in that colony, and then all our food supply died off. It's kind of like what just happened right now. But we had significantly fewer dupes too. This food shortage is gonna be it's gonna be close. We have crops, and they're actually coming due now. I think we'll be okay. Building broken. What, what broke? No. That's fine. Those are fine. Oh, those are those wires. Who cares? can't use it anyway. Actually, I probably should fix those while it's... Let's disable this. Put this on auto. I should fix up the wiring in here while I have the opportunity, because that geyser's not running. Take this out of gold. Put it right there. Let's deconstruct... Uh, where's my wires? Deconstruct power wires. We'll get rid of all the wires that are here. Perfect. Uh, we'll disable this building for now. Oh, no, it's already disabled. Okay, perfect. Uh, we will throw in some heavy watt wire instead. Okay. Deconstruct more electrical wire. There we go. Okay, heavy watt wire, so when this is ready to go again, we can just switch it back on. There. That resolves that problem, so it'll be ready to run in another 20 some odd cycles. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. Would it be better to cook the, meal, uh, cook the meal ice? You have two or three stoves. Uh, well, the meal ice you can't really cook. You, you make it in, a, in the meal loaf. Um, in order to cook it, we'd have to combine it with like something else. Wish fry. I don't think actually we can use meal ice for anything else. Pickled meal ice. Hooray. Uh, that gives us 1800 versus the meal loaf, which gives us 1700 so for the effort no not so much we're better off cooking mush bars at the moment because that's just a straight influx of food the mush fry will give us like a thousand kilocalories for each one we cook uh, barbecue does not use it i'd love to get a barbecue system going where we're just living off of barbecue oh that'd be like heaven mm, heaven barbecue oh. Hooray, it's only night. Oh no, it's starvation night. Hi, BDS Empire. Yeah, things are a little on the starving side. Did someone die? Yeah, we had one death early on. Perrin was down working in the in the cold biome using an exosuit, and he trapped himself the way he dug out underneath. And unfortunately, I didn't notice it fast enough, and he died. He met an unfortunate demise at the hands of the suffocation machine. I'm getting tired of those food shortage alerts. Ooh, this water level is really going down too, which means this is going to warm up. 23. It's not bad. Could be worse. Oh, did we dig? No, they still still haven't dug out that wheeze wart. I need that too. Where's my gas pipe? 32 degrees. Yeah, this is coming out of here much too hot. I need to prioritize this because we're sending 32 degree air up, which is basically. Kind of taking the place of what we did with the, uh, uh, taking the place of what we were doing with the, uh, the algae deoxidizer, unfortunately, which is just, like, much too hot. I can see lots of air pressure here now. 
there was much rejoicing. It's all working. Ish. What the? All right, you get. No, forget it. We can leave him there. He's not. There's nothing for me right now, anyway. <laughs> there it goes. Two dollar super chat. Make guys a room smaller for better flow. Where's that? Uh, yeah, we probably could. Like, if we blocked off, if we blocked off this tile. Yeah, the thing is, when it's erupting, like theoretically, if if we give it space, it could fill up more gas in the space. It's, the trouble is, it's not erupting at all right now. It's completely dormant. When it starts to erupt again, if it fills up... We had this all full of 5 kilogram pressure gas before. Um, so if, if it can finish all that, if it can fill all that up again. It doesn't erupt it very much, though. Natural gas, 238 grams per second. It's going to take a long time for this to fill up. Uh, all right. Yeah, it probably makes sense to block this off. It's just not going to take... Or it's not going to have enough um, time. I'm not going to use it for a while anyway. We're running we're running solely off of coal generators right now. And that seems to be doing okay. Throw a ladder in here. And we'll build... Uh, you know what? Let's go well get the algae out of here. We'll block it up that way. So the natural gas will just filter in through here. Unfortunately, we have all this chlorine in here. But again, we can get rid of that just by pumping it out. Same game twice and use one for volcanoes volcano Joe streaming outro. <laughs> what did he miss? Uh fair amount, Water Trico. We were gonna explore and try and get as far up to the surface as we could. We built built a little ways up, but then we ran into some problems with oxygen supply. Unfortunately, a lot of that maintenance has kind of taken up a lot of the a lot of the stream tonight. Trying to recover from our oxygen and food woes. It's kind of been like the, the theme for the evening. BDS Empire, five dollar super chat. Get your dub dupes something off the dollar menu. <laughs> Thanks, BDS Empire. We'll uh, we'll pile them in the car. We'll all head over to Wendy's or something, and we'll get some uh, junior bacon cheeseburgers or something. I don't know. Oh, nice. They got those dug up. Okay, so let's put uh, Wheeze Ward in here. Plant, copy settings. Uh, actually, we'll put this at like an 8. I want those planted as soon as possible because the air coming out of here is just too warm. Let's harvest both of these. We're treading water on the food now. You notice, like, we, it, it plummeted fast, but now we're at the point where we're kind of... We're holding holding our own. It's <laughs> it's not plummeting any further. We probably avoided starvation. Uh, it's not fantastic right now, given the number of duplicates we have, but at least they're they're not likely to starve right now. What's the hardest thing to do in Oxygen Not Included? Um, I don't... I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, think, I just find in general, it's, it's all about, like, coordinating all the different types of tasks you have to do. It doesn't help that I, I take colonies with a lot of duplicates in them now. Like, I used to try to limit my colony to like six duplicates, and those are super easy to manage. It requires so much less oxygen production, so much less food production. The whole thing's easy to easy to do. So I think now, like the more you get, the more you get a large colony, the more challenging it is to manage all the different types of things that are still a priority for them. So I guess it's probably that. But I also like that it's more of a challenge. I like that it creates more opportunities for me to screw up because <laughs> it just. It's the game's actually become. It's a little bit too easy if there's only six duplicates now. Too tall gap and ice bomb can't get Weezwort and mushroom. Oh, is there? A... Um, no, they can. They could drop down and up, and they got it. Oh, they planted it already. Check our temperatures here. Ooh. Like these are cooling, but I'm not sure how much that's gonna if it's gonna be enough. And I should make sure it's not interesting. We're still getting 500 grams. It's at 30 degrees now. 30 degrees and holding steady. So it's not getting any hotter, but it's not it's not cold the way I want it to be either. What's the temperature out here? Out here it is 33 degrees. So even if I put radiant piping out here, it's not going to help because I, I let this area warm up too much. 
Ha! I really should have built farther down. But at the time, I was just in a rush. Okay, I have an idea. We're going to redirect some pipe flow here a little bit. Uh, if we do radiant gas pipes down this way... This will make things actually super cold. Uh, I need a ladder down here. And a ladder down here. And then I'll do what I'll do is um, I'll just loop it through the, the ice that's down here. That'll chill it, so when it comes out here, it'll be cold. And then these these warts will probably overkill. Block the three brick tall hole between the cold biome and the rest. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really a lot of temperature that leaks out here. I mean, I guess heat could be coming in. Actually, we'll use a door, a regular door. I don't want to power it. Although, we do have... You know what? Forget it. We'll power it. We have excess power here anyway. Oh, come on. Give me the door. There we go. We'll see if this stops from some of the heat from out of here, like, flooding into this space. Maybe this will recool? I don't know. You never know. It's worth trying. Plug the door in. Fabulous. I think what I think this will do the trick though, because we're actually going to take the air and loop it through a very cold space. It'll probably come out of here too cold, and then I'll have to warm it again. But that's okay. I'd rather have that than have it coming out of here too hot. So ready for multiplayer Oni. I wonder how that would work. Because you're not really controlling individual characters the way you do in other multiplayer games. It could be interesting. Is it worthwhile to make omelets with your 4,000 grams of raw eggs? Yeah, it is. Uh, right now I'm making mush fry, but we could easily convert that. Let's uh, kick that off of there. I don't even, didn't even have mush anyway. Make as many as they can make anyway. The omelets are pretty good food. Just got to remember to switch it back after. Hello, I just got into oxygen and loving watching your videos, but could you make a video about how to safely approach the swamp biome? Seeing a guide would help a lot. Yeah, I did one about germ management. It's probably pretty outdated right now, so I'm not sure entirely what's different now. But the key for going into the swamps is really about controlling the flow of the germy air. Um, either by cleaning the germy air or by blocking it from getting into different places. So, like, out here we have polluted oxygen that's full of germs. And some of it's actually leaking into my colony now because this gas... Now oh, we have a CO2 seal in here, so it's not too bad. I really should clean the air in here, though. Da, 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 da. Let's throw a deodorizer up here. Can't build one there. We have a ladder. <laughs> Why did I put the ladder? Oh yeah, we had to do the algae before. Uh, so really, it's uh, it's about like just buildings. It's about managing the air. So polluted oxygen is where the germs really propagate. So there are two types of germs you have to be aware of when you go out into the swamp biome. There's there's surface germs and the airborne germs. The surface germs aren't a big problem because your duplicates can wash their hands to clean the germs off. But the airborne germs that they breathe in are the ones that actually make them sick. So if you can convert the polluted oxygen into clean oxygen and then remove the sources of polluted oxygen, like slime and stuff sitting on the ground, then the germs will die off in the clean air and then they can run around and breathe and it's not so bad anymore. Um, and then in the meantime, you try to create a, a mechanism where you have a bit of an airlock so that you're not letting that kind of nastiness into your base. That's really your, your big trick to going into the swamp biome. And then if you get a chance to make the, the exosuits, which I did here before we really got into the swamp biome, uh, the exosuits keep them safe also. Uh, this memorial here is for Perrin. He unfortunately died in an exosuit down here in the, the ice biome. Uh, he dug out a space and left himself stranded, unfortunately. Starting to go system just above your geyser for it. Uh, yep. So my thinking was to put the, uh, come on. My thinking was to put it over here in the cold biome. Because I don't really have a good mechanism to cool things. This thing's dormant. I don't know how long it's going to stay that way. Let's find all this thimble reeds growing in here. Um, so I don't know how long this is going to stay dormant for because we haven't analyzed it yet. I'd kind of like to get some scientists in there to do that too. 
dig all this out, we can throw a ladder in. And we'll throw a door on here too, because we don't want to leave. We don't want to leave this wide open to all kinds of nastiness. So they get in here, they can analyze this. We'll find out when this one will become active. Uh, this one isn't been uncovered, hasn't been uncovered yet, so of course we can't analyze it. Cancel that. Run the guy, run. They're busy mining there. What do we got going on down here? Nearly finished. Where's he going? Oh, granite. Oh, that's neat. It's convenient. We had granite down. Oh, where are you going with that? Really? You just got you pick that up to run all the way back and store it. Okay, good job, buddy. You know why would you want to work down here? <laughs> I should have made those pipes out of granite. We should use the oxygen from the cold biome for the exosuit to start saving slime. Yes and no. Um, the thing is, I could turn off the suits if necessary. Uh, I can't turn off the oxygen in the colony. If I split the oxygen flow off of this, I've done it before, and what it, it ends up reducing the flow of oxygen you have into your base, and I not really want to play with, playing with that. We're actually getting to a point where we're getting repressurized again, which is kind of nice. I don't really want to toy around with that too much. Uh, so I'm going to let all the air continue to flow into the base instead. Worst case scenario, like I said, like the suits fill up with oxygen. And these are only running periodically now when they actually have to refill the suits. So we have two of them running. And they're using a minimal amount of algae there. What do we got left? We're oh, completely out again. It's the algae that's that we're consuming inside the colony to produce air pressure that's kind of the problem right now. Okay, these pipes are finished. Let's go ahead and connect up. Uh, ventilation... Gas pipe on there, gas pipe on there, and then we will deconstruct this. Oh, hold on, hold the, hold the phone. Deconstruct those gas pipes. Okay, so now this air is probably way too cold. No, oh, 15 degrees. Actually, that's not bad. 12, 10, 7. Oh, it's getting colder. <laughs> that's a little chilly. Coming out of there, it's seven degrees. What's what's the temperature going to be up here? I wonder. Uh, insulated gas pipes at twenty one degrees and dropping. Insulated gas pipe. Where is it? Eighteen degrees. Oh, it's still warming up a little bit actually. Twenty degrees. Twenty five, twenty four, twenty going down. All right, so that actually might that might be the ideal temperature by the time it comes out of there. 20 degrees. 19 degrees. It's getting colder. <laughs> if it stays around like that range, like 19 to 20 degrees, that's ideal. You think my mushroom thing is in a room? No, it is. We're good. It's a room! And it's even the right kind of room. You can analyze guys just with one slot open. Uh, Can you? That hasn't been my experience before. Oh, wait. They can't even reach that right now. Hold on. I hope we can reach it. Let's dig out some more of this geyser. We'll try to get try to get a bit more of it exposed so we can start to analyze it. Uh, I do want to sweep in here because people get all tweaked if I don't sweep the stuff. <laughs> before we start dumping liquids into it. Dig horizontally so the two geysers feed into the same tank. Oh, uh, yeah, we could do that too, actually. If we created a reservoir in here, we'd get a double feed. That'd be great. I like your thinking. Brilliant. All right, ladder down here. Uh, we'll dig out this so that actually we have a decent, decent reservoir for it to sit in. Actually, this probably should be dug down really low here. And then if we dig out horizontally here, and look across that way, 
It's gonna be kind of a big tank. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. They didn't quite expose it. Take that out. We'll cancel all this build. Cancel that. And instead we'll build some insulated tile along here. We'll build some more... I hear a geyser. Hmm. I, I swear I just heard something erupting. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be good. Once these things start erupting, anyway. I mean, they're kind of they're a little ways off, but this one is anyway. This one won't be erupting for another. Oh, I don't even know. They haven't analyzed it yet, but it's dormant at the moment. What's the ambient temperature of your base? Uh, what's the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Not bad, actually. Over here, it's pretty chilly. It's like 16 degrees. It's getting colder. This air coming out of here is actually just a touch too chilly. I need to convert some of this pipe into non-radiant pipe. Actually, it's 30 degrees. That's not even bad, radiant pipe. Uh, in here, I want non-insulated pipe. That's 28 degrees. Oh, that was already not insulated. Oh, right, go right there. If we make that a non-insulated pipe, it should warm it up just a touch. But the ambient temperature of the base actually isn't bad. Where it's hot is down here, where we have all this stuff sitting on the ground still, unfortunately. Uh, in here in our battery room, but that's kind of sealed away. Uh, temperature right here is at, like, really close to being dangerously warm, but again, it's because we were running the algae deoxidizer. So at 30 degrees, that's a bit too a little bit too warm for what we want in there. We want it to kind of hover maybe closer to 20, but... Isn't the steam vent the slime biome at risk of picking up germs, though? Uh, nope, not really. You can see that there's no germs in the area that immediately is around it, um, so it's fine. Obviously, we have we have germs over here with all this polluted oxygen, but again, we can clean that. Um, the germs don't really live in the water so much; they're more about more about being airborne. So, if we can clean up that air, then um, I don't think we have to worry too much about that. Probably move the weasel away from your air vent, yeah, probably. That is likely true. Now, let's uproot this, and maybe we can put it down here instead, where things are a little little spicy. If we stick a flower pot down here. Oh man, my back's killing me. Uh, if we put a flower pot down there, we can move the weasel wart down there. And try to cool things that are a little bit more, a little bit warmer down there. Or actually, you know what? Never mind that. Ah, uh, all right, whatever. We built it already. Uh, we'll put a weasel wart over here by this one, since I'm actually still running it. Keep things cooler by the garden. That makes sense. I made meatballs. Now you have mini, they have mini sliders with honey pickles. Ah, uh, now I'm jealous. I'm hungry. So hungry. Let your base get cold. It's so much better to have a cold base than a hot base. As long as it doesn't get too cold, I guess. Radiant pipe on Weezworts. Why do I still have uncivilized toilets? <laughs> because uncivilized toilets produce dirt. That's why. The, uh, the polluted dirt they take out of this, they put now in here. And instead of producing fertilizer, it produces dirt. Uh, and the dirt is kind of a valuable commodity. Much more so than the fertilizer is. That pressure's not great. Again, this thing's not running right now because we ran out of algae. I need a I need a third room. We definitively need a third room to produce oxygen. No question. Poor Drekker, we're going to wind up sealing him in a wall. Stress, 100%. No, that's that's my immune system, 100%. Stress is at 87 for Spookus. And he's on the massage table. 92%. His stress is going up while he's on the massage table. How is that even possible? Oh, he got off the table. Back at 100. Spookus, what's your deal, buddy? Why are you so upset? You've got food. We're, we have Actually, our food is even climbing. He's got oxygen to breathe. 
He's not sick. What's he been doing that he doesn't like very much? Oh, wait a minute. That's what it is. He's got soggy feet. Chilly surrounding soggy feet, so he doesn't like the temperature. It's too cold. And he's soggy. Ah, oh, poor guy. Let's see, this water seal over here, this is why I stopped kind of using them, is that the, uh, the water really becomes a disruptive element. Do I have CO2 in here? If I have CO2, I could use a CO2 seal instead of, and just mop up that water. Yeah, it's a mix of chlorine and carbon dioxide. So I don't, it's funny, even with these things running here and all the CO2 they're producing, we've still got chlorine issues. You know, I'm just gonna mop up this water. I don't like this water seal. It's just causing more problems than I want. I don't think I can now. <laughs> I've got too much water there. They can't even mop it up. Poor guys. No, that worked. Now we should be able to mop it. Too much liquid. Really? It's only... Oh, come on. Alright, deconstruct this one. Just got soggy feet from crying at 100 stress, you think? I mean, it's... Uh, I, don't know that, I don't know if it works that way. I mean, it, possibly? It's still too much liquid. Are you kidding me? All right. I think you start this block now. Killing me here, guys. All this work to build this silly water seal, and it's actually just a problem. Where are other exosuits? Oh, they're working. Okay. Get rid of the tile. Mop this, please. Now you can mop it. Oh gosh, don't build that while he's in there. Please don't block anyone in that little... There we go. <laughs> it's, like, it's like they go down bottom there and someone's going to entomb them. That would be just my luck. Alright, so we got some chlorine gas going in, but eh, whatever. I don't care anymore. There's a bunch of CO2 in here that should kind of block it anyway. Should have put a water seal right of the exosuits. Well... I know, but so the the problem was that we didn't really have room to put an exosuit room in here because I had this as my power room. I mean, short of like sending them down here, doing the exosuits, and then doing a seal, and then going out. So it was it was poor placement, but at the time I was just trying to get out of the out of the colony, and I need to rework this whole area really. If I can pump all the chlorine out of here, like this seal is not even necessary anymore. I just can't be bothered doing it yet. Uh, let's see if we can analyze this now. The last time I tried to do this, when I didn't have it fully exposed, they couldn't do the analysis because they put the little indicator thingy up near the top of it. So I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll check. You know, a textile loom, you can make the thermal clothes for the cold dude if that's much of a problem for him. Well, it's, it's really more that he got wet. He's got soggy feet, and the soggy feet debuff doesn't do nice stress things. This is done. We can actually, we should have a crop of mushrooms now. Yeah, a little bit. Actually, oh man, we don't even have to cook mushrooms once? Seriously? How have we not harvested more mushrooms? That blows my mind. Alright, let's we'll make mush fry. We apparently don't have any mush bars either, even though we're producing them at scale. Alright. <laughs> I can't win here on the food front. Maybe get the stress job and uh, do a job where demands are not too high. <laughs> well, I mean, what's he even working on right now? Spookus. What is Spookus doing right now? Spookity Spookus. Priorities. Mechatronics engineer. What is he doing? I don't even know what he's working on. Operating. What is he operating? So what we need to do is follow Spookus around and see what his day looks like. Where is he? Spookus, where are you? Because he should be... I mean, right now he's just probably spending all his time on the massage table, but... Oh, no, he's not. Why are you out there? Everyone else is in bed, and you're crying in the swamp biome. Dude, no wonder you're unhappy. This needs priority nine. When you're stressed... No, we can't, we can't even do that now anymore. Um... Break starts at 50 and stops at zero. I mean, he should be on the massage table. I don't know why he's not. Who else is on there? Simmons is on the massage table. 
Simmons, get off of there. How about you go move over here? You're not at you're not at fifty percent stress anymore. Spookus, get on the table. Where did Spookus go? Uh, it just pointed me at Spookus, but where is he? Um, hold on, follow cam. There we go. He's finally on the massage table. Good lord. Come on, buddy. You've got air. Stra the decor is not bad in that space. It's not great, but it's not bad. Let's try to do a little bit of artwork. I feel like maybe I've been neglecting the dupes on the art front. Give them some statues. No, nope, statues are three high. That won't work. Uh, furniture, statues... Maybe we can make the rest of the base a little bit nicer. He'll feel a little bit better about himself. Furniture statue. There we go. It's not much, but it's something. <clears throat> we'll do more statues down here. Give them there. That one there. Okay, this and statues. Oh, the treating barracks, mess hall, med bay, probably. I should actually give them a mess hall to eat. That would probably help with stress, too. I just haven't really taken the time to do that. Change the party to 70 to get on and 40 to get off. Mm, I'd rather just hang out on the stress table as long as possible. He keeps going right back to 100%. No, it's because it's at 62 now. All right, he'll be fine. It's going down quick now. I don't know what the deal was, but I think someone else was just using the table because I only have one of them. I should move the jobs board out of here and put it uh, somewhere more reasonable. So if we go to stations, jobs board, we'll build that over here instead. Then we can destroy the jobs board that's in here and we'll put another massage table in. So at least if two duplicates get stressed, we'll have a little bit more management. I almost never have this kind of stress on my client. Spook us right back up to like 100. What the heck? He's on the massage table, and his stress is going through the roof. You know what? He's too picky about his food. He's eating mush bars. Chilly surroundings. I mean, you can't keep this guy happy. He's like, it's too cold. He's like... He said, like, hit a critical loop where he's just not going to get better. Mushroom was flooded. What? Oh, how'd that happen? I have no idea how that happened. We're all at a fertilizer. 10 kilograms. Why is that? Seriously, we ran out of fertilizer. How do you even make fertilizer anymore? I don't even know. The compost heaps don't produce fertilizer. They produce dirt. <laughs> I could take it back for like a day or two ago. Welcome. Kill Spookus. That'll get rid of his stress. Yeah, it causes stress for other people, though. Stress is going up fast. It's just going... It's bouncing straight back to 100 every time. He's just like... He's determined. He's determined that he's unhappy. And he doesn't want to be happy anymore. As soon as he gets on the table, it goes back to the 60s. He gets off the table, it jumps right back to 100. That is... I've never had that happen before. That's crazy. Not a cot we want. Massage table. There we go. So we're going to do a double massage table in here so our duplicates have... Double the stress relieving power in case more than one of them decides they're miserable. These are crazy. Lock Spookus in a room and send his tears to an electrolyzer so the whole colony can send <laughs> salty tears. Oh, you're so mean, Scott. It's, look, it's, again, immediately off the table, immediately back to 100. I think he's broken. I think he's broken. He started crying. He has a nice bathroom. He likes that. Duplicate's last meal didn't meet their expectations, but I mean, honestly, now he's crying, which makes him cold. Jeez, what the only we can do for the guys? Give him a shower, but we don't have a shower set up. 
All right, I give up on him. He's fine. He's just gonna cry a lot. Lousy crier. Stop crying. What's that your parents always used to say to you? Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. <laughs> Double mush bars from consumables on Spookus. I mean, we're doing mush fry, but... What is his food preference now? If we look at consumables... His expectation is only poor. I mean, he doesn't even need good food. That's so weird. If we can give him some better food, I guess that would help, but man, oh man. Oh yeah, that could be it. Maybe it just needs a reboot. Ah, we're only 20 minutes left. You know what? I'm, I'm content to let him cry it out. We have 24 other duplicates to do work around the colony. We don't really need him to do it. It's just frustrating it won't fix him, but... Give Spooka something to cry about, that's right. <laughs> just kill him. Aw. Lol, the flashbacks. I bet you're glad Spooks is an ugly crier and not destructive. Yeah, or even worse would be if he was... Um, if he was the kind of duplicate who just eats everything. That would be really bad. Even vomiting would be bad. Yeah, there's actually... You know what? Of all the things he could be, an ugly crier is probably the best one. Turn off raw mushrooms as consumables. Are they eating the raw mushrooms? Are they? Consumables. Fried mushrooms. I don't think they... Oh, yeah, there they are. Regular mushrooms. Don't eat my raw mushrooms. 16,000 kilocalories worth of those. So we can actually... Uh, here, we can set this up for fried mushrooms now. Get a few of those. Maybe they'll get a little happy on the fried mushrooms. Try changing his job? Yeah, maybe we can do that. He hits 63 when he gets on the table, but it continues to rise to 100, and then he gets off to cry. Well, no, I, I don't know. It seemed like it was going down when he was on the table, but let's try changing his job open. Maybe that'll help. Spookus, what do we have you doing, Spookus? I don't even know where you are in here. There's too many names. Pancake King Spookus. There we go. Mechatronics Engine. Aw, oh, he's the only one. He's the only one who's gotten the qualifications to be a Mechatronics Engineer. Uh, Sir Imperial Mike, if we send him over to Gopher. Uh, where are we here? Sir Imperial Mike, where are you? There you go. All right, send him to Gopher. Sibylline will send up to Courier. And Gabriel Frank will send to General Engineer. And we'll try to get some other people that can be trained as mechatronics engineers. I'll move them out of there because we're not actually building any automation at the moment anyway. Although I would like to tackle some next time. Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. Where are you? There you are. Give me a Frank. Okay, there. Uh, and we'll take... Take Kaboom. We'll move Kaboom over here. And Spookus can go to... I don't know. Farmhand, maybe? Yeah, he likes it. Maybe if we make him a, maybe if we make him a farmer, he'll be like, You know what? I'm happy again. I get to do a job I like. I have some skill in it. And my crying waters the crops. <laughs> it's a hard life as a duplicate. It's too many people around here. Hispanic moms always say that. I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's exclusive to Hispanics. My mom used to say that too. <laughs> my always says I'm gonna hit with sandals. Now I didn't get that so much. Promise I'm not this picky in real life. Also, please don't kill me. <laughs> don't worry, Spookus. We won't kill you off. Hashtag Spookus Lives Matter. Let him get Max, then change him. He's just... <laughs> ah, he's gonna keep crying. He's so cold because he's wet from his own tears. Alright, whatever. We'll ignore him. I, I bet you it will fix itself on reload. So it's okay. I'm not super worried about it. This little cooling loop worked out really well. It worked really good. Okay. How are things in Geyserland? Uh, they're not really doing anything to help themselves. Let's do this, please. I actually want to get this checked out. I want to see what the, the deal is with this geyser. We can analyze that. Uh, if they could build this stuff, that would be great also. 
They can't reach most of that <laughs> until they get up here and like do all this stuff. Six. Can they? They should be able to reach down. I thought they, normally they could jump down two and they could reach two tiles. I would think they would be able to build that, but maybe they can't. Why aren't you building the ladder? Awaiting delivery of granite. Why granite? What else is this? Phosphorite. Abyssalite. I don't want an abyssalite ladder. That'd be silly. All right, whatever. They're going about it slowly because of the, the suits, I bet. There's only three of them there. Do dupes have triggered R&D level that once they pass it, they fall apart? No, they, they really shouldn't. Um, they should be recoverable just by treating the stress. Uh, now, he's sleeping in a room that's, that's high decor. Most of the base is high decor. He's being fed. He has a supply of oxygen. And he's using the massage table. All those things should have his stress, like, plummeting down to low level. I mean, the highest other than him is like 43, right? And there are still people at zero. So it shouldn't really be the case. It's probably just a little bug. He's, he's caught in a loop right now and he can't get out of it. Move him to the battery room where it's warm. There's no air in there. <laughs> oh, there is a little bit of air in there. He might be able to do that. Spookus, buddy, where are you? Now he's in the toilet and getting sprayed while he's trying to cry in the bathroom. Dude, don't cry in the bathroom. Of all the places you could choose to cry, like, why why cry in the bathroom? That's so sad. <laughs> uh, let's send Spookus. Oh, I lost him. Vitals. Spookus. Move to here. That didn't help. <laughs> he's not going to stay there long enough. I don't want to trap him in there. The colony's not that cold. I mean, I don't know what his problem is. It's got to be because he's crying on himself. He's all wet. It'd be kind of funny if, you added, if they added more stress responses, like catatonic state, rocking back and forth, hyperventilating. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they add some more. I mean, they started off initially with just a couple, and they've kind of added a few more in. The ugly crier is actually a funny one. That's, that's one of them, my favorites. It used to be vomiting or destructive were, like, your two choices. And then they added binge eating and ugly crying. And I'm curious to see whether they'll add more in. That's where people go to cry. <laughs> I guess in some cases they do, yeah. No, we're not going to kill him. Money for Spookus' shower. Yeah, we could probably do a proper bathroom one of these days that had showers in it. You might feel a little better if you had a shower. I mean, some people do. Uh, we didn't open this up either. Let's go submit a bioscan. Not sure who will do it. Can you do a bioscan through a suit, or does that wreck the suit? <laughs> you would think, like... If you had to jab a hole in the suit to do your bio thingy, it would kind of cause problems, but... They lose stress if they're the focus of your attention. It's a real buff. Mm, yeah, maybe we should check that out. We'll try that. Aww. Wow, that's weird. It's separated into two areas, but we do have a fancy neural oscillator. Uh, let's build a ladder up there so we can get access to that. Dig this out. See who can go on the brain machine. Uh, and we want to rummage through these. Let's see what we find in the lockers. Maybe some sweaters. Maybe a snazzy suit. That would be cool for somebody to wear. You know what would be funny is if we give Spookus the snazzy suit. He'd be an ugly crier with a cool suit. <laughs> can they can they wear the suit and the uh, and buy our suit at the same time? I wonder. Uh, Spookus, go put on some fancy duds, man. Maybe you'll feel better if you can strut around in some, like, sparkly suit. Where is he? There you go. There you go, buddy. Gotta dress yourself up a little bit. I don't know how this works if you'll actually do this. This J-Box. Simmons. Hershey. I don't know if he can put on the suit while it's down there. That's really weird. Make a carnival game out of Spookus and dunk him in the pee. Aw, poor Spookus. Maybe a stress response for dupe could be curse and call names of the dupe. Yeah. That's funny. No glove, no love. But a bump. Want them to add a stress pee dupe. Aw, oh, so they get all upset and wet themselves? I mean, they kind of have vomiting, which I guess is kind of almost the same thing. It's a different graphic, obviously, but. 
need to make a cry closet like they have. <laughs> you go hang out in the cry closet. It'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> the trouble is you can't really get them to go in there when they're going to cry. He's just going to cry wherever he's going to, wherever he's going to do it. Send Spooks to the Vacillator to leave him there for a few days. <laughs> no, Spookus. You know what? If we send Spookus here, if he gets the sunny disposition trait, it might solve his problems. <laughs> just throw Spookus off the ladder. Oh, Spookus. Man, you're taking so much abuse tonight. People just don't like ugly criers, I guess. I think they're cute. It's funny. In a please, in a please, Lord, stop crying kind of sense. <laughs> uh, let's deconstruct this. Oh, nope. Buildings. There we go. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this ladder here. And seal this off. I really want to uncover this so we can actually start to get some water flow out of it if it's active. But they're going very slowly about all this other stuff that I want, so... Oh, good, they're finally... Ex Durgan's finally doing some work on this. Durgan, way to get to work! Fabulous! Yeah, the least he could have done was cry in the water supply. I know, right? The nerve. I don't know if the, uh... I don't know if it creates water anymore. It used to. He's been doing a lot of crying and the floor's dry. Let's see this. Where is Spookus now? He still hasn't gotten his suit. I'm insulted by that. Give him some fancy clothes. He wouldn't even put them on. You've never felt such hate. Oh, Spookus. <laughs> Disable disinfect on the tiles beneath the lockers. It'll keep spending time on it. Oh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, da -da -da. Man, I wish I could do this like more than one tile at a time. Please stop. Oops, please stop disinfecting this junk. What's funny is it's not even germy. <laughs> what were they even spraying? These guys are weird. They're darn right wacky. There's that air pressure not really meeting expectations again. So we're supposed to go to the volcano. Oh no. <laughs> it's not even a volcano. It's just a geyser. You can sweep the clothes into a storage bin. Uh, that's probably a good idea. Finding them to get tell, to tell people to put them on, though, once you sweep them into a bin is such a pain. Uh, but I think it's entirely possible that they won't... They won't put them on if they're wearing the, ex, the, uh, the exosuit. So that could be the issue. $2 super chat. Hashtag save the spookus. Hashtag spookus for the chair. Hashtag we love spookus. <laughs> Thanks, noops. Appreciate the super chat. Uh, we'll try putting him on the bass later. we got to finish building the ladder first. And then it's a question of whether he'll actually do it. Because he's kind of too busy crying his brains out everywhere right now. Oh, Grant. Why are you taking so long? I need more of these oxygen suits down here. Let's build another exosuit dock. Do we have enough to build an, an episode though? Yes, we do. Yes. Uh, this needs to be connected to the power grid. Hopefully this doesn't overload my power system. It'll also need to be connected to ventilation. And deliver an exosuit. Whenever they get it finished. <laughs> Spookus' bathroom is next to the cold air vent. But he doesn't have a, de a defined bathroom. Or is it his bedroom, you're saying? That's kaboom. I don't know. I mean, it's cool over here, but it's 20 degrees. That's normally, like, their ideal temperature range. So it shouldn't be so cold that it's a problem. The, actually, the, the temperature of the colony is great right now. I think the problem is that when he cries, he's getting wet. And that's making him unhappy. Unreachable bed. Unreachable food, unreachable bed. What are you guys doing? Wait, 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 what?
What is going on there? Oh my gosh, this is three duplicates. I might die right now if I don't. Why can't they move? Oh, right there. That's the problem. Okay, hold on. Um, drat. Ah. <laughs> I broke the ladder because I didn't need it anymore, but now apparently I do. Uh, party nine. Build me a ladder quickly. Out of actually, make it out of sandstone. Use something easy. Wait, what do we have nearby? Anything on the ground? Oh, they actually swept up pretty well. Uh, let's make it out of sandstone. These duplicates might die. They're gonna have they're gonna have oxygen problems. On top of being hungry. Uh, in the meantime, go over here. So you're at least close by. Starvation! No! Come on! This is ridiculous. Don't don't die. Oh, look, this suit's out of this suit's out of air. Okay, I have an idea. Deconstruct that. Then deconstruct this. Oh, don't you dare. Get back there fast. No! You get back there fast too. Oh. <laughs> no! I had it figured out! Durgan, you're gonna die! This is terrible. Um, deconstruct this. That'll drop them down and then they can run for it. Durgan, deconstruct this. No, no, cancel all this. No, stop it! <laughs> Get back here. Deconstruct that. Move to that tile. Where are you going? No, no, no. Stop building. Stop building everything. Go deconstruct. You... Alright, you're killing me here right now. You're killing me. Stop it. Oh, she's breathing. Hooray! <laughs> she found air, but she's going to starve to death. Because the suit's out of oxygen. Uh, move to here. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me! Like right now, just you're you're just you're you're just trying to <laughs> you're trying to kill me right now. Okay. Um, build some floor out of whatever. What is that? Granite. Build some floor out of granite. <sighs> Durgan, where are you going? Where are you? Oh, come on. Honestly, come on. <laughs> I've never had so much trouble getting one duplicate to do one task. I mean, normally they're ridiculous about it, but this is just over the top. At least she's still breathing, but that's a plus. Oh, really? Now you break? You're killing me. You're killing me. There we go. Go do your eating thing. And cancel this tile. Good lord. <laughs> that was like work. <laughs> we got it. They're fine. I told they to send some and they're not Durgan. Why Durgan? That was just craziness right there. Deconstruct that. Let's finish this off so I can finally be done with this silliness. No, you know what? Don't even destroy the ladder. Just leave it. Just leave the ladder. Don't even care. You're going to trap yourself in there, aren't you? Of course you are. Brilliant. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> like watching Bob Ross paint a pretty little bush. <laughs> that was ridiculous. All right, well, we didn't get to the surface tonight, unfortunately. Uh, we spent so much time having to fix all the oxygen supply. We did start the journey northward, or upward, whatever. And it's actually, it's got a fair ways up there. Like, 
if we scroll back... I don't think... Well, we can't really see the top range of the map, unfortunately. It just kind of goes on and on. But somewhere up here is the surface. And I was hoping we could get up there tonight, but we're not going to. Because uh, we've already run an hour over time. It's midnight Eastern time. And I'm going to call it a wrap on the colony for this evening. Uh, we did get a fair amount built out that I needed to take care of. Unfortunately, we're still kind of uh, sort of treading water on the oxygen right now. I hate leaving the colony without a nice clear blue color through the whole thing. But we do have two oxygen rooms pumping air in here, and that's doing okay for us for the moment. We, can, we are getting little bits of algae in order to continue to have this thing still running. Uh, we're going to build the third oxygen room probably somewhere up here, and we'll pump that air into this area of the colony. And then between the three of them, even with 25 duplicates, it should be enough oxygen that everything gets this nice light blue oxygenated color again. Uh, and that will help a lot with our crops, who are... Uh, it's kind of barely breathable air in here, so they're not stifled, but our, our food supply is going back up again. We're at 75,000, so you know, it could be worse. But um, thanks, everyone, for coming out to the stream. Uh, I do appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for the super chats. Welcome to our new channel sponsors. There were a few, ten a few of you tonight. That's fantastic. Uh, tomorrow night, we'll be playing some Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, I haven't decided yet what I'm doing on Saturday just yet. That's going to be like a last-minute decision. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, though, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and come back and watch another stream. If you do that, make sure you check the little notification bell. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates about what's going on with the channel. But thanks, everyone, for coming out to the stream. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.